welcome, welcome one, welcome all to the trial by blood. My name is Beard Bandit, and tonight I am joined by my good buddy, a fantastic streamer, content creator, and Chivalry 2 enthusiast by the name of Ziggy Lada. Maybe you've heard of him. How's it Maybe. going, Ziggy? <laughs> well, today we have Trial by Blood Qualifier 3, the final qualifier in our series of placement matches to see who will return for the Trial by Blood number two. And tonight we have some amazing matches lined up for you tonight that are you're not going to want to miss at all. Some of the best of the best dealers in all of the NA region are here tonight to prove with sweat and blood that they are the most skilled duelists around. And you, the lucky viewer, will be able to witness firsthand all the blood and all the carnage our competitors are going to be doling out tonight. So please, please strap in. Grab a snack, get some water, and be prepared for the trial by blood. An absolutely exciting event, Ziggy. You excited to be here tonight? Yeah, of course. Of course, of, of course. course. Right? <laughs> Why wouldn't all, I? All right. Here we are on the tournament grounds, the uh, the official map of Trial by Blood. We like to use this map quite a bit. Everybody does. We got some uh, some great dudes here lined up. Uh, if we want to go ahead and take a look at the schedule here, before we look at the schedule, I want to see some of these fighters. Uh, as is tradition, we like to take a look at all the fighters' drip we've got here in the arena. Who do you think is your favorite uh, outfit you've seen tonight uh, on some of the competitors today, Ziggy? I don't see him standing up here, but I'd probably say, uh, where is he? Uh, Goombachi. I really like Goombachi's outfit. Oh, Goombachi has absolutely some style. He's got one of the nicest fits in there. He is right there. You can see him with the flowers in his hand and the uh, nice purple and, uh, and yellow quarterly lion there. It looks really nice. Uh, Cody's also got some nice stuff, too. I always like seeing the, the plate knight. Nobody really uses the plate knight anymore, or it's, it's rarely seen. Very nice skin. I use, I use default knight, truth be told. I, 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 I don't like the knight fashion very much. <laughs> not, yeah. Well, I, I, it's not that I don't appreciate it. Just, I think they... It's not your style. I think they, they need a facelift, I think. They need more styles <laughs> than just plate armor. Well, they've got a couple nice ones. I think some of the nice stuff that they added in the recent patch is, is, is pretty cool looking. But hey, you know, it's one of those things. Um, well, it's it's one of those things. You can, you can get really creative. Don't you remember the uh, original Chivalry 1 Mason Knight? He doesn't oh, yeah. have a whole lot of plate on, surprisingly. If you go look at him right now, you might you might be a little surprised. <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of like small pieces and like brigandine and stuff instead of a full plate mail That's true. set. That's true, that's true. A little bit of piecemeal stuff, but you know, the maces I gotta deal with, they, at least in Chivalry 1, they were the the rebel, you know, the rebellious faction. They were, you know, uh, uprising against Argon, so you never know. You know who else, gonna... you know who else is an eye catcher? Uh, the Ho, he's down in one of, he's already down for his match in Arena He's in a? one of the rings here, is he in ring yeah, uh, D? Yeah, he's yellow. Oh, there he is, yes, that's, that's ring D, I believe. He's there playing the harp, he's playing a nice tune. That's actually Waltz of War. I'm so glad that they kept that in the game. I played that at the start of the stream, but uh, one, one of my favorite pieces of music from the Chivalry franchise. Yeah, it's really nice. Absolutely, absolutely. So Composed by Ryan he, Buckley. Yeah, absolutely fantastic composer. Um, for everybody in the chat, what do you think uh, are we, we're going to be seeing here uh, weapon selection-wise? Do you think, you think we're going to be seeing a lot of swaps, or do you think people are going to be kind of sticking with one thing and uh, kind of riding the tournament out with that? I, well, what I think is we're going to see a lot of people try things, and if those things don't go very well, we might see them swap to Longsword. <laughs> yeah, that is a, a pretty safe bet nowadays. Longsword is a very, very effective dueling weapon, you know, no matter your feelings on it. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but, I mean, you cannot, you cannot understate how good it is at what it does, especially in a dual tournament. So would not be surprised to see a couple of those. But if we look at some of the competitors right now, we do see Worgen using the Longsword, but we have... Uh, the Ho with a great sword and uh, Captain Agatha, of course, here. But I see him with an axe, which is always surprising. Captain Agatha, known, famous for his uh, prolific usage of his fists and a shield. Uh, so I'm surprised he's bringing out a weapon today. Well, unfortunately, uh, Torn Banner didn't think that the longsword was very tough. The, the fists did too much. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. No, the, the, fists, the fists definitely need something, but hey. I, I get why they did it. Best. It was yeah. a very I, it, when they added in the brawl mode. Fifth special was just it was so fast and it made it viable in other modes. But in brawl, it would be the best thing. So they wanted to tone bit tone it back so you'd use things like chairs and bottles and stuff instead, which right. <laughs> makes sense. 
but then Captain Agatha is left over here, and uh, I think also Belligerent <laughs> Drunk is a good is a good fist player. You have to respect the fist players. They're making do with what they got, especially Agatha. He's so well known for doing that for so long. So I think uh, in order to be able to actually compete, he decided to use an axe, which is probably a really good move on his part. Yeah, that is I, that is a, a fair move. I think that's probably going to keep him alive the longest, wouldn't you say? I think the axe is my second favorite one-handed weapon to use. Oh my god, he's also got the rapier. <laughs> So I am actually going to go ahead and throw up the bracket here on the screen uh, on my stream. And let me show you guys what we're working with here. So we have, and I can throw this uh, bracket into the chat if you guys use exclaim bracket. I think both of our streams should have the same command for that. It should yeah. pull up this exact bracket. This should be updated live as the matches are going. So definitely going to want to be uh, paying attention to this. Uh, and let me get some confirmation from the organizers here. I believe that we have a match underway. But uh, we're going to be spectating. And uh, let me go ahead and bring this up again here. We're going to be watching Handsome Man and Captain Agatha. Yes, of course. The fan favorite, Captain Agatha. And I, I am not uh, sure... Who handsome man is? I have not fought him. At least I don't. Re I don't remember. But uh, I'm not sure what kit, what loadout he's bringing to the table to fight Captain that Agatha. Looks like, a, looks like a heavy mace to me. Where is he? Is he still? He's over there. Heavy yeah, mace. There it is. In, in C. Okay, perfect. Here we are. So, do you want to go ahead and take uh, Captain Agatha? And I'll take handsome man. I think the fights are beginning right now. I was gonna get just a nice camera angle in the in the middle. I've been practicing you. with the uh, with the other matches I've been casting. Alrighty, I'm gonna be going ahead and following Handsome Man for the duration of this fight. He's going after the swing <laughs> the, and he hits himself spinner. with it. Yeah, he hits the spinner on himself somehow. That's not not much damage, but it's 20. It could mean something. It the could. axe almost two shots. Yes, that's true. It is quite a powerful weapon. Ooh, you can see special. he landed a very strong special on Handsome Man there. The throw was a little bit too oh, low. Oh, <laughs> quick axe quick Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure, uh, did Agatha parry right there? Because if I was him, just to be safe, I would reset the shield. But that's just my opinion. Oh, he's going to grab a new one. I think he's grabbing another one, yeah. Yeah. Because I, if I'm going to rely on my shield, I don't want it to be halfway broken. Because once it breaks, you get stunned and punished. Absolutely. If, if I'm going to be using a shield, you definitely want to reset either by taking one off the wall after the match is finished or by uh, swapping uh, to spectator and swapping back just to get yourself a, uh, a new kit with a new shield with full durability. Yeah, they can't go. Oh. I, I, it turns out I have to let go of the key before I enter. <laughs> Alright, so that first round went to Captain Agatha using his axe, an un unknown variable today. We haven't really seen Captain Agatha use a weapon in these tournaments. So this is going to be interesting to see how far he will get with that. Uh, it looks like Amethyst here is ready to start fight or round number two. And here they are. How is it going to open? Handsome Man actually takes out the mace instead. Right. Oh, he's able to get a feint off after Agatha landed a very strong special right off the bat. The axe special is extremely good, but actually so is the mace. Yeah. Oh, but he's Those disarmed. Jabs. Oh, Ooh, man, and the shield really throw. effective shield tosses. Oh, my God. <laughs> very, very dominant display there from Captain Agatha, using his uh, quick attacks and his ranged toss to get Handsome Man stun locked there. And if uh, those of you in the audience did not know, shield is one of the only weapons, or throwable weapons, I should say, that will stun lock you uh, on, upon being hit. So definitely something strong to think about for uh, engaging your, your, your opponent from distance. Are you wearing a dress? Looks like he's got a shield back much, and he's dude. ready to go again. Both riders, uh, both fighters are ready to start round three and it begins. And just to be reminded guys in chat, these rounds are best of five. And the only time that it's gonna go any longer than that is the very final matches. Those are gonna be best of seven. Handsome man taking a lot of damage right off the bat of this round here. He's, he might be at jab health if he's not careful. But oh, he's, oh, oh, but he's in special health. <laughs> oh, the classic Captain Agatha special attack he says he's still got it he hasn't forgotten his roots that's for sure <laughs> Shit, that was absolutely a chad move i mean 
Thank you, Cody, for reminding me. Yeah, I, 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 coming out I almost strong forgot. Today. Let's see how I won't far he gets it. in this tourney. I, I, you know, I, I would love to see him progress pretty far today. Hopefully he's able to qualify. And obviously we are impartial, but we want to see good fighters get into trial by blood number two. Here we go, round four Let's beginning now. Uh, three in the favor of Agatha. Oh, he gets a very last second counter off there. Ooh, was that a heavy stab? I think it was. I think it was a heavy stab, yeah. Ooh. The X stab is not that bad. Yeah, and it's actually pretty solid comp considering it's uh, <laughs> a blunt weapon with a, a stab, essentially. But Ooh, man. and he challenges the heavy overhead. Yeah. But the axe is known to be able to do that quite quick, able to challenge those heavies and uh, get a quick initiative steal attack in there. Agatha with four rounds uh, over Handsome Zero. Unfortunate for Handsome, he's got to win all five of these rounds back to back if he wants to stay in the tournament. And we'll watch here from Agatha's perspective this time and see how he's looking. Is he going to stay this that wasn't lead, a, or uh, is that wasn't he going to choke? Lozio, he tried know. to counter Things the heavy overhead game. and just let it go. Affirmative. Quick Axel, right into Ooh, a special. Yeah, he's got to be low Following it up with the special. Yeah, very effective. So they actually jab cancel each other there. And Agatha misses his slash. Just barely enough for Handsome Man to be able to get a slash or, or an overhead off himself. Ooh, he throws the shield a little bit too low. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. Handsome Man taking a round of his own, saying he's not in this fight and throwing the shield on his, <laughs> his competitor's dead corpse. So I think he's not too happy with the shield tosses. <laughs> I mean, Let's it's see if a good, bring it's a good back. move. It is quite a good move. I mean, I would, I would certainly be using it if I was playing man at arms with a shield and one-handed weapon. Can't count it out. Those shield tosses are counterable though, and you can gain some stamina back on that if you're expecting it. It could be something really smart for you to do. Let's see if home, uh, if uh, handsome man can go ahead and bring this back in his favor. Four one. Those at. Those specials are a great idea. Oh, just he sees that it's not going to land, and he immediately turns it to turns it back. Very smart move. I see a lot of a lot of good players are doing that when they have a strike coming out. Oh man, that special is going to be devastating. Oh, and, the and kick. there it is. I mean, wow, a very, very dominant nice. performance from Agatha right there. Good try from Handsome Man. I hope we see him in further competitions. Or well, we're going to be seeing him in the losers bracket, I believe. Agatha trained without without a weapon, so that way when he picks one up, he's the deadliest. <laughs> Absolutely. He's ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to fight this qualifier. He does not want to get eliminated this time. Uh, I think next we're moving over to ring B to yes. watch. Let's see the schedule real quick. Yeah, let me pull uh, up the Google Sheet that I like a little bit more. Uh, and Goombachi find that. and Mighty Owl are coming up soon. Assuming yes, all the fights are finished. Fight. Right. I believe the first block of fights is over. Uh... And now we're going to be moving to block B of fights here. Let me go ahead and pull up this Google Sheet. I think Worgen and the Ho are still fighting. Let's see how yeah, they're doing. We're... Let's go ahead and check them out while we wait. Taking a look at Worgen here using a long sword versus his competitor using a great sword. Good stab from Worgen. Long sword stab. Very dominant. I see the Ho a lot. He's pretty good. But Worgen is a... Oh! He's been doing really strong lately. Yeah, I've been, Ooh, I've been no fighting Worgen a lot, and he's quite a com tough competitor, but he's he's getting chip damage away. I mean, he's he's in a dangerous spot. If uh, he's not careful, he could get hit and get killed here again. Look at that. Ooh. He's very low. One hit away from bad. death here. Yeah, knife is not as bad as people make it out to be, but a quick axle from the longsword says, nope, see you and later. I, Worgen has five kills. I'm going to assume that's, yeah, that's the end of that. I believe that was the end of their match, and that should be the end of the first block of fighters. The referees should be getting everybody in line here, but let me go ahead and pull up the schedule for everybody in the chat to see this. Let me pull up the bracket and see what it says. So here we are, guys, uh, and we're going to be going after these uh, first block. The red block here has already completed. Now we're moving on to the yellow block here, and we're going to be spectating a very good fight, one I'm excited as hell for. I've been wanting to watch this fight for a long time. Two amazing greatsword players, Gumbachi and Mighty Owl. Both of these guys are fantastic greatsword players, and I've been wanting to see them compete for a long time. So I'm excited to see how they do today. 
and who's going to come out on top. Both of these guys pretty evenly matched, so unfortunately one of them is going to have to go home, but we'll see who that's going to be in due time here. Who do you think it's going to be? Uh, do you have any preference? Do you think who's going to win I, here? I think... I, I don't know who's better. They're, they both play Great Sword. <laughs> They're both good. Yeah, it is a tough call. It's an absolutely tough call. I know that uh, uh, Mighty Owl's been playing a lot more team modes. Like, I saw him in the 3v3, and he performed very well uh, between RD and Vandals. But I don't right. know how much Goombachi has been playing. I, he's probably been more in, in duels than anything preparing for this. I've been seeing him in duels quite a bit, yes. So I think he's been training uh, relentlessly. Uh, it looks like uh, Mardek and Coconut are still in... Uh, their match and it's just begun uh and this is still the first block of fights so we can go ahead and spectate this while they yeah, finish up their fights yeah let me let me throw their names on here so we've got mardek using the spear and coconut playing long sword knight and i've actually been fighting mardek with the spear he picked this up recently i haven't seen him use this before typically he's a messer or a long sword player but i've seen him pick up the spear recently a weapon very very underutilized in competition i think it's a really great weapon it can be used very effectively. The way he's doing right now, he's just getting good. all around the parry. I mean, just doing so well. Look at that. People don't really know how to deal with the spear. It's one of those weapons that people don't fight against very often. So when they do, they don't really know how to counter it. And you have to think about it. When you think about the spear, there's actually only two attacks. You only have to counter a stab or an overhead. There's no, there, cause, because the left mouse button on a spear is also a stab. It's just from the left or right side. Depending now, something that I, something that's interesting is back when the game launched and back in beta and stuff, I didn't think the spear would be very good at duels because of that. But what I found is it doesn't actually matter if it has two attacks because the main timing you've got are normal, faint, and faint heavy. And That's the spear true. does that all the same, so your mix-ups aren't really weakened because of it. That's absolutely true. And the spear's got very good stamina damage. It's got the best reach. It's got that quick overhead. Even though it's not doing a ton of damage, it's... Fantastic. It's a very good you want to throw I love the overhead. Yeah. And it's very tough if you don't know how to deal with it. And even if you do know how to deal with it, it can be very tough. Like I, Mardek has beaten me a couple times when I try to fight him with Halberd. So I have to I have to actually switch to Greatsword to be able to put up a fight because Halberd just cannot do it. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, you, you want to be able to rely. As, so if I was going to be fighting a spear player, I would want to rely on weapons that are good at slashing good at overheads uh, so that you don't have to bait yourself into countering the stab over and over and over again. You want to make them use their less damaging attacks on you when you're initiating fights so they have to counter with an overhead or counter with a, a slightly lower damage stab. Seems like Coconut's having some issues making it work though with with the Messer. Yeah, uh, he, he doesn't seem to be able to find the timing or the range to really get the, the fight off the ground for him. And you can see Mardek angling himself, using footwork to try and get around Coconut's parry every time. You see him moving from left to right to be able to try and uh, basically circumvent his hitbox and get around him, which is very smart with the spear. It's very, very easy to do. Not easy to do, but it's definitely easier with such a, with such a long reach weapon. If I, was, if I was Coconut, I would try to focus a lot on conditioning him with overheads, you know, as I do with Greatsword. Right. The, the Messer overhead damage is fantastic. Especially if you if you do land those quick excels, and then that would force him to start countering, and then at the very least, you could start parrying those overhead excels when he does counter, and that would do next to no stamina damage. That right, means right. you have it's, to faint. It's, it's very, very uh, advantageous for you to be able to do that, because it gives you less stamina damage, and you're doing more damage. So just being able to, like, Prioritize attack types here is the best way to uh, survive a fight against uh, one of these kind of players. All right, so this is match point. If Coconuts can't manage to make something happen, I don't think we'll see it. He's low on stamina. Yeah, he's already out of stamina. He's already been disarmed, and Mardek's just going to keep teeing away, but he's able to get in close to get a swing off before he dies. Unfortunate end there for Coconuts. Good try, Excellent Coconuts. attempt. Excellent it's attempt. Very... That is a tough weapon. It, it's it's a lot like the um i also find people have trouble with the war club and glaive until they figure it out and right, i think the spear exactly. is in that same boat of just weapons you have to learn otherwise the matchup's just foreign absolutely true i think that's a good way to describe it there are a certain class of weapons that it, you don't really see them very often again and if you if you don't see them very often you don't fight them very often you don't know how to counter them or how to fight against that kind of play style and what you'll see in these kind of matches is that play style is everything. It's all about being able to read what your opponent is doing, 
how he's playing and being able to devise a strategy to be able to counter what he's doing. So the best kind of players are going to be able to figure out that quickly and are going to be able to fight multitudes of different weapons, uh, you know, to be able to adjust on the fly as they need to. So it looks like we have uh, two fighters here in, I believe, what is Ring C, uh, Garden Boat, uh, the founder of Trial by Blood, and then uh, Fat Walrus, another great uh, player who I have known for quite a long time, who's improved so massively, but we are not watching them today. We're looking for Goombachi and uh, Mighty Owl, so we're kind of waiting on them to come in before we watch anything else here. must be made aware of my presence. Are they just starting? Competitors. Uh, I believe that we're waiting on everybody else to get here. I don't think that the ratches have started yet. These two are ready to go in ring A and ring C, but I do not believe that they are beginning the match until everybody is placed. Gumbachi and Owl are heading over to ring B. This is the this is what we're supposed to be watching. Here they are. Here they are. You see these two great sword chads over here swinging around their long shafts, and they have impressively long shafts, if I did have to say so myself. Now, these two guys are titans of the dual community here. Both players that I've seen improve very massively, like ex exponentially since we've, uh, you know, since the game released. These guys are taking rounds off of me left and right because they have gotten so much better. So I am very excited to see how these rounds go, if it's going to be evenly paced. A lot of the best fights like these usually go uh, up until four to four. I, a lot of our previous events have, have had a lot of fights like these that are very similar skill level and they go very long, but you never know. You could see an upset today. Somebody could get Greetings. very dominant, really feel themselves today and put on an excellent performance. Greetings. I believe they're ready to I, go. I don't really like mirror matches that much, but there's something about great sword mirror matches that's just nice. Oh, I mean, it's so nice. So the sound of the weapon, it's obvious. It's the one of, like, not even one of the best. The best audio in the game is the great sword. Hearing the clang on the clang is just, it, it triggers something. It, it's so nice to see. It's so nice to hear it. It just feels so good to use. Both testing the waters here. Just going for some easy feints and combos to try and uh, test their opponent's defense. See what they can get slipped through here. No I think both of these yet. players are too good. Ooh. That was a great use of range that right there from Mighty Owl. I think they're both too good to be landing like normal feints on each other. They're going to have to put on pressure. And... Out of stamina, he gets the greatsword back. Yeah, Mighty Owl kind of uh, had an opening there, but he uh, attacked twice just out of range, Ooh. and that didn't allow him to close the distance. But he's able to secure the kill there with a nice overhead, untouched. Nice work, Owl. Yeah, well done by Owl. Kumpachi coming in with the beg emote, showing his opponent some respect. And here begins round two. Let's see if Gumbashi can uh, start something else going off here. Oh, a great Ooh, just... use of range again from Owl. Really, really testing the waters about how far away he can hit from there. Ooh, and a missed the stab. Again. Oh, but he gets punished with a quick axel. You only have to hit him with two overheads. That's true. Doesn't even have to be heavy. Two light overheads will do the job on a Vanguard with a great sword. And he Ooh, is disarmed. Out of stamina. Is he going to secure the kill? No, he doesn't. He's a little bit too late. Oh, but he's Ooh. so low. Wow, the knife. Gumbachi. The knife, very nice. Wow. I, th I, th I, mean, I think incredible. a big part of playing Great Sword or any Devastator weapon is knowing how to use the knife. I find, believe it or not, I've actually started swapping the knife in my footman loadouts instead of the short sword. I think it's the best emergency tool secondary in the game. But do you, do, would you say that that is true for TO as well as duels? Because it, it doesn't really have very much, it doesn't have any cleave, I should say, but... Uh, you know, yeah, that doesn't matter I, in even even in even in uh, team objective, What's going on? because if I'm in a three v one and I get disarmed, I'm probably dead anyway, and I can fight yeah. two people with the knife, and I can definitely fight one person with the knife. For sure, for sure. That's interesting. All right, so it looks like Mighty Owl is swapped to Longsword Knight. Just seeing decision here from him. I wonder if Gumbachi's more comfortable against Longsword. If he spends a lot of time in duels, I'm sure he's fought a plenty. Yeah, absolutely. There are tons of longsword players, so it may be easier for him to do. But there's also a lot of greatsword players in the duel yard, so it's not like it's that much of a difference. Really, the thing is that the owl has a ton more health now, and and, and uh, Gumbachi has to land two heavy overheads Ooh. to kill him. And he lands the he gets the mix up, but he misses it. And then yeah, he lands that was a quite odd. Quick slash. 
But yeah, well, that, just below half health. T take it from me when I participated in Trial by Blood. It's nerve-wracking. You make Ooh. easy mistakes. Nice work, Goombachi. Yeah, Goombachi coming in with a good counter there and is able to get a quick axel to decap his opponent. He's going to go ahead and kill himself to get his kit back. And uh, we're going to see these fighters reset. I believe it's now one Mighty Owl to two for Goombachi. Er. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of wild. Here we go. All right, and they're already back into four. it. Four, two, one, and Lightens favor. A great Ooh. stab around the parry there. Almost got another one there, but KC able to read it and counter with his own. Longsword, Messer, and the two spears are very good at just sneaking around your parry with stabs. Absolutely, yeah. It's one of their best capabilities, I would say. Oh, wow! Ooh. Heavy stab sneaks oh. through, lands a special. Another stab Ooh. at range there. Ooh, that was very interesting. So I, they're both very experienced with Longsword, and after landing the special, they weren't really sure about who had initiative. Yeah. Because Longsword's very unique in that you can actually keep initiative after landing a special on somebody's parry. Wow! Ooh. What Couldn't back up anymore. There. Yeah, he got pinned against the wall there, Lighten using the environment to his advantage to keep his opponent from being able to use footwork. Very smart here, and uh, footwork is just one of the most important things you need in a duel uh, to be able to keep yourself alive. Not only does it allow you to keep your distance and avoid strikes, but it allows you to counter with your own if you're able to duck and weave the right way. I don't think it would be... I, honestly, Lozio, I don't think it would be that broken if Especially it with these long swords, those stabs as are much so damage easy to does. get around the parry if you know how to footwork the right way. A great stab Another. there. Another. Lightning's got all the these Paris, little things. Those. Yeah. Oh, but a great heavy drag from uh, KC there. You don't see drags too often on the longsword. Dodges the special. Yeah. A risky move. Typically, specials are not very easy to dodge, and that can put you in a bad position with low stamina and no health. <laughs> Quick Axel from KC, putting Lightning below half health. Oh, they both miss each other. He gets another attack off. They jab cancel as well. Wow. Oh, and Casey comes nice. in with another stab, a feint, and uh, alt to alt stab feint. That was fantastic. Catches Lighten off guard just enough to get him the kill, bringing it to two or three, uh, two three in Lighten's favor. Here we go. The fifth round, or the sixth round, I should say. Exchange of slashes and overheads. Yeah, they're just testing the waters right now, seeing who's going to break the defense first. A lot of sword players try and mix up their stas their uh, overheads and slashes because of the animation is a little bit ambiguous, which is actually getting changed in the next update. But right now, it's still it's still kind of <laughs> easy to trick people. Um, those stabs that they just both missed was incredible. Mm -hmm. And Lighten is going to... No, he's going to let him pick up the weapon. I was going to say that he probably should have pushed forward there to keep KC away from being able to pick up his weapon, but he backs off and allows him to re, uh, reset. I think they're, I think Lighten would rather play it safe and not get punished for trying to do something like that. That's, That's the only that reason I can think. Move. Yeah, that is a safer move. He may have just ignored it, but it also could be an intentional safe move. He's taking some damage. He's going to jab to try and get some uh, pressure jab off of him. Jab the special into another wow. jab. A quick excel. And the sword is so dangerous. Getting disarmed is not the end of the it's fight. The second, the second oh. primary. Sword to sword. Here we go. Oh, he misses the jet or the kick. Oh, the, not misses the special. And then, oh, oh no. wow. Unbelievable. One help it up. on both of them. God, I mean, what a fantastic fight. These guys are putting on a show today. 3-3, both of these guys very evenly matched. Some excellent duelists. And uh, we'll see who is able to inch in the lead here. Going to put themselves fighting for the 4-3 spot here. Who's going to take the lead? I think Casey's having a little bit of a uh, resurgence, a little bit of a comeback. I think maybe he has started to figure out a little bit of Lighten's play style. And he's adjusting. Now Casey uh, or, uh, and uh, Lighten now has to do the same. I'm very excited. Ooh. Yeah, this is a great match. Oh, a great stab. And a quick Ooh, axle and to punish. Punish the jab. Wow. Ooh. 
Ooh, my goodness. Oh, but Casey replies. Lightning needs one good hit to take out KC, but he gets a crazy drag off. I mean, he, excellent show from KC he can, here. He's not he out. He can bring it back, as long as he doesn't get hit. He can bring it back, certainly. Oh my lord, these misses and the stabs are insanity. Oh Ooh. wow. Oh, oh and the kick kill! The kick he knew. kill! He knew! That was extremely well played by KC. He knew, he knew, like Ziggy said, that if he landed that stab, that he would be put just low enough that the chip damage would be able to kill him. And being when you're familiar, that low on health. Go ahead. Yeah, so just being familiar with your weapon is so important. You land just the amount of, a perfect amount of hits and you know that that guy has under five health or five health and you can just go for it safely. Absolutely, yeah. That's one of the one of the best things to know. If you know a weapon well enough, it's gonna allow you to make smart decisions about what way you want to damage them towards the end of the fight. Ooh, oh, a lands kick a from kick KC. already, and a special right, to punish a, special. a jab. Oh my god, these guys are insane! Oh, he and kicks he... him away from the special. Did you see that? Oh my, oh my goodness! God. Very nice. That's KC. He's gonna take the fight. He's able to come back. Uh, very, very late in this round and take the cake here. Lighten is eliminated from this tournament, but a great showing from both of these fighters. I mean, wow, wow, what a fight. I I mean, I'm surprised. Lighten was up three to one and QC gets four in a row. Yeah, he kind of, uh, you know, he, he kind of, I think, I think he realized what he needed to do. A lot of these competitors are very smart and, you know, that they might not win, they might not take the first or second round, but it might take them a second or two to kind of download the opponent that they're facing's play style to figure out what they need to do to adjust to be able to win the fight. And Casey did an excellent job of doing that. And he pulled off some incredible moves that stab into the special after the kick. I mean, wow, it was just incredible, incredible stuff from both these fighters. So... As, assuming there's a couple of more fights going on right now that we could go yeah. jump into, but we're going to be back in ring B when the next set of matches starts. That is absolutely correct. It looks like we've got uh, two other fights still going on right now. We have Colin, or this might be the uh, ring for yeah, Block 3. That's for the next one. Go. Yeah, that's for the next that, fight. That's Block yeah. 3. Okay. Uh, people really want to watch so. Colin, but I believe uh, this is no we're offense to whoever is fighting. I think we're going to see him later. He's kind of insane. Yeah, he is an absolutely fantastic fighter. One of the best in the game. He actually won my the very first tournament I ever ran, the band, the Duel of the Bandits. He won that first tournament, the very first tournament that I ever ran. He's just was an I excellent fighter. I don't know if I was I in that one. Or was it? Well, uh, I think you were in the second one, Ziggy. I think you casted the second. One. I was in. I was in a, like one of your tournaments. I think you. I think you may have played in that same tournament. I'm not 100 percent sure. I think I played I in one, one with or me. two. Yeah, I also casted them with you. Yeah, I came in second for one of them. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think lost to Quasi. Sidemork. It was Sidemork, I believe. Oh, no. I, I came in third with that one, I think. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think you're right, buddy. Yeah, so I came in, I came in second once, and I came in third again, and I lost to Sidemork, and then I think he lost to Quasi. Right, right. All right. Beautiful. All right, so um, this is, this let's is go ahead and watch Shadow Gale. Shadow Gale, yeah. And Mr. Where did he go? Sake Make. I don't think I've seen this man before. I have, I have. He is somebody that I have fought in the dual yard before. And I have fought both these fighters. I'm interested to see who is going to take the lead here. I think they're both pretty good. I have see, I I see Shadow Gale in in the three v three. He was amazing with his target switches and stuff, and I'm sure that I'm sure he's pretty good with his movement and stuff in a duel as well. Starting wow, off I mean, strong, very strong. Oh <laughs> my lord! Oh my gosh! Somebody call an ambulance! I but not for me. <laughs> didn't even land a parry. Yeah, that's unfortunate for Sakimaki. Hopefully, he can pull his head together and. Uh, Get into this next I'm, fight with a little more confidence. I'm sure that's not all we're gonna see from Sake, but I, I that's probably gonna rattle you if this is your first competitive event. Yeah, <laughs> that would certainly be a morale downer, absolutely. If I was in that position, but nothing is ever written in stone in these events. Pulls out the mace and throwing knives. Not even a bad idea. Not a bad idea. He does miss that off the bat, though. I feel like you guys could have probably got a cheeky hit on off the top, but he's gonna get. Ooh, uh, immediately already. punished for his gambles, yeah. And he's at he's at low enough health to die to a kick. To get kicked. Not sure yeah, if Shadow Gill needs it, but no, certainly Ooh, not. He does goodness. not. 
Wow, very dominant performance from Shadow Gator here. He's a veteran of the community. We've seen this guy quite a bit. One of the, you know, what level is he? He is literally 245. Yeah, so he's been around for a minute. It's not over till it's over. We could oh, we could see not. something. You know, maybe maybe he's just nervous or something. Maybe he's just yes. just needs some cold water on the face or something. Yeah, a little a little slap from his trainer, some uh, smelling salts, and he'll be all right. Back in the ring, round three. All right, Sakamake is taking this a little more seriously now, but he's gonna get hit with a crazy fast Axel. Oh, he actually would have landed that stab, but he misses because of Shadow Gale's footwork, but he does land an overhead. Somebody's low on stamina. I believe it's Shadow Gale. I but think it, it is. It is Shadow Gale. Ooh. But he wasn't able to push the advantage enough to to capitalize on that offensive there, unfortunately. That's going to be 3-0 to Shadow Gale. Pretty dominant performance so far, but nothing is over until it's over. Going for the bread, the patrician's choice. Who needs uh, bandages when you got bread? Let's hope for the best. Absolutely. Ooh, he switches to one-handed spear. Interesting. Interesting. So he's actually going to use the knife. He switches to the he knife? Hit off. I, I mean, I like the <laughs> knife. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> he's actually going to get some attacks off here. Oh, wow. He, I think Shadow Girl is going to get a little bit flustered ooh, here from the attacks. Ooh. Oh, my lord. Oh, oh my, my lord. A flurry of attacks, a huge combo is able to take out Shadow Gale. I. What do I even straight. say? <laughs> Yo, how do you? I, how do you even? <laughs> I I know what I can say. I like the knife. <laughs> I like the knife. <laughs> I, I use it. Hey man, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. What I mean, you, if you can use it the right way, you can. It can make a lot of sense. But he pulls out his own spear on the knight class. Let's see how this goes. This is this... Uh, three in favor of of uh, Shadow Gale, one for Sakimaki. Could he bring this back? Let's see. I don't know what to think about this. This is this is a what a jump stab either Did over his parry just... or maybe I... <laughs> the jump stab was insane. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. What? Unbelievable. <laughs> Wow, I'm flabbergasted by that. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be reading. Uh, these chat guys are too jumping much. around like it's Super Mario Brothers. I mean, you'll have to forgive me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be doing a lot of commentating and talking with Beard. But I, I am reading chat, just so everybody knows. I well, do. Let's see I am. If I see all the chat messages. Has a reply so hi, everybody. Right now, it is confidently in the hands of Shadow Gale. He needs to just win one more match. Sakamaki needs to win four more, or yeah, four more. Lands the special already. The one-handed spear special is d disgusting. Is devastating. Devastating. So hard to read sometimes as well. He's got him a range. He can literally just tee away. Ooh, but he's outranges able to the one-handed spear. Long sword. Oh wow! And he just turns around. One eighty jump stabs him. I mean, that's that's devastating. A, 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 a very good performance here from Shadow Gale, but to switch weapons and be able to, you know, account for his opponent's play style very quickly. A veteran player here, showing off his skills. But one handed spear. Sakamaki okay, trying. I mean, you, there's only so much you can do, right? <laughs> one handed spear is a little bit nuts, I think. <laughs> I think, I, uh, to my surprise, a lot of people don't really know about it, which no, nobody really I'm kind of glad it. about. It's very surprising. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's one of those moments that you. It's, a, it's in the same category we're talking about with the spear and the and the glaive and the war club, where if you don't know how to fight against it, it can put you in a very bad position. So I believe now we are just waiting on the next block of fighters that is being Actually, updated right now. I think we're going into uh, block five here, and it looks like we've got Zeno we can versus pick. Mardek. Yeah, we can pick whoever we'd like to fight here. So let's go ahead and pull this up on the stream. Maybe we can get some input here from chat, and then uh, we'll decide here who we're going to be watching. So it looks like the options here are Zeno versus Mardek. Uh, we saw him using the spear earlier. Captain Agatha versus Worgen, both great fighters. Cody No, uh, and Mighty Owl, and Fat Walrus and Sir Sans. Oh, Sir Sans is in here as well. Great to see that as well. So we've got a lot of good options here. A lot of uh, these are all great fights to watch. I think what I would say is I'd probably like to watch either Mighty Owl and Cody or Fat Walrus and Sir Sans. Hmm. What do you think? We've already watched. Uh, you know, let's watch. Let's watch Mighty Owl and Cody. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do that. 
All right, and they will be in ring C, which is by the one spinner. I see Mighty Al is already here prepping for his fight. Great sword on his back, ready to go. And now we're just waiting for his opponents. Uh, which? Wherever Cody No is. I see him now at the front of the stands by the bandage boxes. He should be coming shortly, I believe. Cody has been practicing a whole lot. Oh, yeah. Another player that I've known for a long time. Uh, one of our tournament ground staff here putting himself into the fights to show off the skills that he's got. And he's got some skills. Let me tell you what. He's gotten so much better since we started fighting a long time ago. Very proud of him for this, the progress that he's made. So I'm excited to see how he does today. No matter what happens, even if he doesn't win, he has improved dramatically. And I, I like, I, I'm just saying it because I'm, I'm very proud of him because it, it can be discouraging sometimes to just yeah. like lose over and over again. But you keep your, you keep your chin up and you try to like learn from your mistakes. And he has. Absolutely, he's one of the best examples of somebody like that. Here we go. I believe the round is about to begin. In. Both the fighters are ready, ready to go. I got ref, looking at him up. Lord agrees. I believe they're ready to go. Maybe we, wait, we, we could be possibly waiting on Mighty Owl. Yeah, he's, there he is. Like he's ready to go. Beautiful. Fight begins. Round one. Messer Knight versus Greatsword Vanguard. Wow, what a, a heavy uh, slash that was. That was quite odd. Ooh, misses the slash but doesn't get punished. Right. Cody does a good job of angling his slashes in weird ways that makes them look like other strikes. So Mighty Owl is doing a very good job of reading the strike and knowing correctly what it is without being dissuaded by how it looks. Cody tries to land a drag. It almost works, I think. Almost, yeah, but he's able to get footwork out of the way. Ooh, misses a stab and gets hit by the stab counter attempt. A Lands smart a special, special on his parry. Cody, but he's out of range and gets punished by Owl. But he throws in an overhead for his troubles, and he's going to get Owl quite low with that. I think... Oh! Ooh. Never mind what I think. <laughs> <laughs> They're both about one hit away. Oh, and wow! He's able to hit his ankle! He hits the very back of his ankle. Did you see that? Insanity. Very nice. That was a great way to get around his parry there. I think Cody had just shifted to the side just enough, angled his, his parry box away, so the Mighty Owl was able to get a quick axel around him behind. Yeah, I, I'm really hoping for the best with Cody, but also uh, it, it's hard to really root for somebody when you like both people fighting. Oh, of course, yeah. We, we know, we're know we we're impartial here, but we, we love to see a good fight. That's all we're here for, seeing quick who, who's gonna give us a good overhead. fight. Quick stab into overhead. Oh my lord, these guys are both quite low already. This is a this is a, a beat up session here. Rock 'em sock 'em robots, man. Cody not falling for that drag. Throwing out some of his own, but they're not landing, and he's disarmed. Out of stamina, but it's not. He's got the falchion. That's actually my Ooh. favorite, and he misses a stab and gets range punished. Yeah, he has to be careful of that. Mighty Owl is an excellent ranged user. He knows very well how to keep distance, key space, and use the range of his greatsword against his opponent to be able to make them miss and then make him pay. So, I excellent think positioning here. If I had to guess what happened, I think Cody was is not 100% familiar with the Falchion's range because that would have landed if he was if he was using the Messer, but that stab was just a little bit too far. Yeah, I think he was just a little bit uh, a little bit too preemptive on that stab. He needed to close the distance a little bit more to make it count. But man, a crazy I think that was a regular act, a regular overhead, not a heavy overhead against Cody, because he would be lower health. Could be wrong, though. Oh, wow, Ooh, another overhead. Overhead right around his him. parry. Oh, but he's able to land a stab around Mighty Owl's parry. Oh, Ooh. wow. So he, I think he, uh, as I saw, he did a quick feint there. I think it might have been unintentional. I think he read the, the stab and then maybe tried to counter into a feint, or uh, sorry, a combo into a feint after the fact, but it was a little bit too early. Beard, I'm going to present a question to you. Do you think Absolutely. Greatsword is meta, or do you think it's just under meta? I'm of the opinion that it's just under meta, but I've got 
a couple people, including Bungie and Quasi, who both say it's it's meta. I wouldn't say that it's a meta weapon. I think it's too slow to be meta weapon. I don't think it's it can too be slow. Very fast. I actually, it, it, I actually it's think slower it's quite than most fast. weapons. It can be quite fast if you're smart and you're a good greatsword player. You can axel very very quickly but it's not meant for that it's not really meant for that like a one-headed weapon is or a long sword is you know what i mean so you can still get outsped by a lot of weapons so it doesn't make it the end-all be-all i think the end-all be-all is a long sword but it does have some advantages over weapons like that because of its of its superior Ooh. range and very high damage it, it can it can be a very strong choice i think it's just below wow an excellent excellent overhead from mighty owl able to take out Cody around his parry once again. These Cody's gotta fights be careful are about very the close. Oh, they're, they're quite close. They've been getting both quite, quite low even before the fight ends. I think Cody just needs to be a little more aware of his positioning and the way that he's angling his body because Mighty Owl is sneaking a lot of pa a lot of a, a strikes past his block. Hope for the best. Match point. Wow, a great stab from Cody. Another one. Another... I think he misses an overhead, but he doesn't get punished. A lot of things might kill right now. All Cody's got to do is job, land, though. He needs to land a strike to be able to kill Owl here. Owl, very good with his range, almost gets outranged by by the uh, message stab. Oh, but he's Close. disarmed and he doesn't grab his weapon. But he does, Ooh. but he gets punished for it. Wow. Owl doing Mighty a Owl is a job. fan of Ooh, teeing away from range, but he's able to get killed the last second. He likes to Cody, tee away at range with combos. Yeah, I, I've been doing that a lot more in team objective and stuff. I think it's an amazing 1vx tool, and it would apply to it would apply to duels as well. But if you do it just a little bit off like that, they can just move in and punish you for it. Yeah, you still have to be aware of the uh, you know, reaction time of your opponent and you know the recovery time of your swing. If you're going to be too too late. It might be better for you to swing your shrink into the ground so that you don't have that recovery period. Owl swaps to Messer. Yeah, here we go. Cody already landed a stab, but we'll see how it goes. I would like it if Owl kept using the greatsword, but that's just me. I think he's got a pretty strong lead with the greatsword. I don't really see the need for him to swap, but it is the way he wants to play. He's going to play it a little safer. He knows Cody is a threat. Even if he is up, he does not want to choke. Yeah, all these fights have been too close to ignore Cody. Exactly, exactly. They're just exchanging a lot of overheads and slashes, landing encounters. Ooh, Cody actually feints to parry that to avoid getting hit. It was really yeah, close to punishing him. That was actually excellent. He's able to land a quick axle after, but Mighty Owl with the retorts. Ooh, Cody misses, manages to dodge and land a counter instead of getting punished. Owl out of stamina. Oh, wow. Lands an axe hit, gets the Messer back. Oh, they're both going to TOA at range here, but no, Cody moves in. I. Oh, wow. Excellent Very job nice. Cody here. Very well done. A good heavy cell, and that is going to secure him another round, but he needs to play perfectly to survive here. If you can 5 0, you can get 5 0'd. That's true, absolutely. It can swing anyway. These guys are both very well matched. Swing either way. It just needs to depend on who is going to be careless and who's not. Back to Greatsword. There it is. Oh, a great heavy stab there from Cody. That's going to do quite a bit of damage to that Vanguard. That is 55. That is... Chunky. It's, it's chunky. I think that's one special away from death, I'm pretty sure. Cody, nice feint to overhead to prevent the drag from landing. Oh, Ooh, he actually miss misses the counter. Yeah. Nice stab. Ooh, almost gets outranged. I think if wow. I think if Owl didn't do a stab there, he would have landed that. The stab is actually the wow. shot. Nice. Unbelievable Come performance here. The stab is actually the shortest attack greatsword has, believe it or yeah, not. Which is unusual because most weapons. Most weapons have a longer stab than their other attacks, but the longest attack greatsword has is an overhead. 
Yeah, it, it is odd, but the way that it's intended to be used, it kind of makes sense the way that it is. But it's just, it's, it's, it's off. It's th it throws you off considering that every other weapon that reacts, you know, reacts the same way with stabs. It's usually the longest attack. To be careful with the greatsword, though. Let's see. Oh, a great Quick Axel. Excel. I will parries the jab. Cody's throwing out a little bit too much flashy stuff. He's already low health. He needs to play very defensively here, Ooh, but and a heavy he overhead sneaks the past counter. him. Yeah, he mistimes the counter, and unfortunately, that is going to be the end of Cody No in this tournament. Everybody, give a big hand for him. He's a great guy, he great played fighter. Played well. Played very well. Most of those matches were very close, but Mighty Owl was able to take the victory. Another fantastic opponent, uh, and he's going to be moving on to the next round of this tournament. Uh, I'm not sure who else is still on the field. It looks like we have a great sword player, Colin. The infamous column, the Dark Horse, and yeah. uh, Caratello of last night's. Let's see. I don't see their score in chats. They might not have started yet. Possibly. They haven't. There's two started. referees nearby, so they might be talking about something. Oh, wait, no, this is the next bracket. Oh, no, I'm s silly me. That's the next bracket. Is it now? Let me double check this. Uh, yeah, this looks like it's going to be, yeah, that's the next bracket. So Caratello versus Colin. We've also got Shadow versus Short of RD, uh, Bubbles and Byzantium, and Big Burt and KC. A lot of great fighters lined up here. Um, does chat Henny have any particular person they would like to see before we pick here? Go ahead and pull Colin's, this up on the stream. Uh, Colin's amazing, and I believe we'll see some really good stuff. Uh, Bubbles and Rabbit are already fighting. Are they? If, okay. Yeah. Uh, All right, well, let's I'm take somebody sure. from the start. Somebody would like to see Short and Shadow. Let's see. Can we get somebody from the, from the start of a match? If they've already gone, let's just watch somebody else. I start. am a bit interested in watching QC, if I could be honest. Yeah, let's let's watch KC. Sure. Or QC. Where's he going? As you He's going say. to ring A. <laughs> oh, I said it like that on purpose. Don't worry. I know. I know. I, I'm a, I'm a scoundrel. All right. So we're just waiting on this next block of fights to come on in chat. So please, please just wait for us here. Correct. Should be starting here very shortly. Get your water and get a snack in. It's about that time. About that time. Go. There's QC. There's Shadow Gale and Short Bert. are also on the run. It. Go. I see Bubbles and Rabbit are there. Where is? Oh, they're starting. They're in Ring A. Oh, ring A. Gotcha. Coming. What? They're going so fast. I had to set up the score. They're going quick. Here we go. Ooh, QC actually. Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> QC swaps with a heavy mace, like I mentioned, and lands a special of all things. Yeah, I mean, that was an insanely well-timed special. It just instantly caved his head in. That is yeah, tough Q to beat. He, he's asked me a couple times whether he should use longsword or heavy mace. And the thing about it is longsword's a better dueling weapon, but most people are going to be playing knight, and that does help. And a lot of people don't have the matchup knowledge as well. That's true. I think some of those off-meta weapons can be better in certain scenarios if you're playing against a certain kind of class or a certain kind of playstyle. Certain weapons are are, are going to be better in situations than the longsword. It's a very good uh, overall pick, right? You know, but certain weapons have situational uh, betterness, and it's cool. But like I don't think weapons. I don't think QC is going to be winning on stamina in this fight. I think it'll be a lot of good hits if he's going to win. Not that he can't yeah. win on stamina, but it's just harder for blunt weapons. Yes, that's true. Their damage values are a little bit lower by default because they get a modifier against knights. Ooh. But man, he gets some incredible stab heavies there. And the heavy on the stab on uh, heavy mace is actually very strong. It's, it's I the, I'm not sure exactly it's the same how as much it is. It, yeah, but it's it does quite strong. 40 damage on a light stab and 60 damage on a heavy, which would, against the knight, would turn into 60 damage on a light and 90 on a heavy, which is a two, a two shot. That's very strong. You get one regular stab and then one heavy stab on a blunt weapon and kill a knight. Oh. That's incredible.
I'm, I'm glad to see he's finding success with something else. You know, I, I fought him with Vanguard with my Greatsword, and he actually did better uh, with the Heavy Mace against me than he did Longsword. Really? Even as a Vanguard, he still did better with the, uh, the Heavy Mace. Well then. <laughs> I, I, he's, he's good with it. It's, it's, yeah, he's he says it's Fave's weapon. I used to really like the Heavy Mace. That was the first weapon I started using in the Dual Yard when I started playing. Swaps to one-handed sword. To I guess fight the war guardian. Here. That might Warhammer be a good choice rather than wow. deal with the speed. Nice stabs. stabs. Perfect Those range. Those are incredible stabs. Yeah, that was a, a extremely good use of range there. Again, oh. man, really, really putting on a show, doing a very excellent job of knowing his range and being able to outrange the opponent. The now, warhammer see, is an excellent weapon against a knight, but man, it has a short range. You have to be careful of it. I think. I think Bert is making a big mistake with the Warhammer. He swapped, he swapped back to either Longsword or Messer. I can't tell from over here. He's coming. The thing about it is the, that shield with Knight's like movement speed makes you so much slower. And if you're not face-hugging, he swaps to Messer. If you're not face-hugging, you're just too far and too slow to accelerate fast enough. So you can get outranged really easily, even by a one-hander. Exactly. Oh, my lord. Quick Messer stab. Oh, Ooh, great heavy overhead that there. 105 damage. damage. That's extremely high. He's uh, one good hit away from death with the heavy mace there. The drags on that thing are so dangerous. And the axles, too. That thing is a big ass medieval Ooh, baseball. Player. And a Look at that. fast excel. And yeah, QC already takes it. Yeah, that was a quick match from, from, from uh, KC there. Uh, quick 5 0 against Burt. And Burt's no joke. He is an excellent player. So that's just showing how, how much KC has prepared for this tournament and how good of a player he is. So Very respect nice to both job. those fighters there. I know somebody wanted to see the short and uh, shadow matchup, so I will go Let's ahead go and jump spectate over there. that now. Let's see. There are one to two. Up short is up. Wow, that was an excellent Axel. What a decap there from short. One three. Very nice. You know what RD stands for? Uh, nope. uh <laughs> somebody in chat know what RD means? I've seen I, them around. They've got some really great I, players, but I don't remember I, what it stands for. I know what it is. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Uh, it is Latin, maybe? I think it's probably a Latin. A lot of the clans today are using Latin words. Rubrim Diabolus. There it is. I probably oh, no. butchered that pronunciation. Don't care. <laughs> Just like uh, QC. It's all right. <laughs> Some great trades of counters here from uh, Short and Shadow Gill. They're both just trading right now. Seeing who's going to let open the first attack. And there it is. Chats? Short with a great heavy overhead. My, my chat's giving some uh, profanity definitions of RD. Yeah. <laughs> that are not the name, I'm sure. <laughs> Wow, Ooh. look at that. Short oh my is... lord, what a combo. He's really on his game right now. Shadow Gale is very good, but Short is sort of dominating this fight at least. He's get, he's setting the tempo. A lot of these fights are about rhythm. This is a rhythm game after all. And it is certainly just really about finding the tempo and being able to control the tempo. If you know that you have somebody and you're controlling that tempo of the fight, it makes it significantly easier to just take control and, and, and you know control where the fight goes from there. That's match point for him. Yeah. I know I know Shadow Gale has the ability to to win these fights. He's just got to maybe he's nervous. Yeah, possible. Apparently Rubrum Diabolus means red devil. Makes me wonder oh, why they know. didn't call it red devil. It's red devil. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Oh man, he's just he's he's gambling a little bit too much I think and that's just giving him in trouble. He needs to play carefully. He needs to stamp out short. Wow, Ooh, and that axle oh. is dirty. Nice try by Shadow Gale, but short, very nice work. Very, very dominant there. Uh, very, very good performance from both those fighters, but short just coming out on top for this. That's going to have uh, him move on to the next bracket of fights. And uh, the bubbles we're just to the next block match. as well. Yeah, we're on to the next block, so, which means okay. we can pick. Uh, what, are what, we what? on? Which, which block are we on? We are going to be in uh, green, light green block here. Uh, this is Marduk versus Captain Agatha. Fat Walrus versus Mighty Owl. 
AC versus shorts and short or sorry, no, not short versus bubbles and short versus Colin. I mean, those you want me to be honest? Small. I kind of want to watch short versus Colin because we be just a... saw how dominant short was and Colin is, yeah. whew, you know, yeah, he's quite good. So let's see that. Wanna... Let's go ahead and watch them. That would be in ring D, which is the second spinner. Okay. On Agatha's side. <laughs> Casey over here on the spinner. <laughs> he's going for a swim. Yeah, he's just he's just enjoying his time. He's he's got that doggy paddle down. He ain't drowning in that armor. You know, you can actually swim in like full plate. It's it's not impossible. Probably be horrible though. Imagine getting out it, of that and then being soaking wet. You'd probably add another twenty pounds. Oh, it's well. I mean, the, the second part of that message. <laughs> the second part of that message of that statement was. You could probably do it for about a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Decky. Appreciate it. Oh, oh shit. I just lowered all my volume. Unfucking believable. Apologize. Well, I. Alright, so my push to mute key. My push to mute key is my, uh. Subtract button. And I've got a second uh. subtract button to control my volume. <laughs> No, I pressed the wrong one. Unfortunate. <laughs> Looks like I see. Thank you very much. Sorry, we we've watched QC twice. I want to I want to watch some other people. In ring C. They really want me to watch uh, QC, but QC's gotten two matches, and I haven't watched these other two yet. Yeah, we haven't seen Colin yet. We'll watch QC. We gotta, if we he gotta spread on. it out. We do gotta spread the love around a little bit here. So we're gonna go ahead and watch oh, Colin, an excellent fighter, and short. Well, we just saw you. another excellent fighter, but we're gonna see how well they do against each other. This should be a really good match. Decky says he'll stop playing Archer if you watch QC. <laughs> and he gave me $3. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Not everything gonna Decky. go your way, pal. Sorry, Decky. I, I, listen, I really want to, but we gotta spread it out a little, man. $3. <laughs> Let's do this. Looks like they are going to be beginning here shortly. Got the okay from uh, Weaponized Funk, our competitive. If you guys are curious about the score, leader, you can watch it in the end game chat. Round one. I haven't seen Colin fight, and I'm going to be honest with you here, like six months. He is a dark horse. Uh, he's just one of the best great sword players I've fought, and he always surprises me because I don't see him for long periods of time, and then when I do, he is leaps and bounds better than I have, like, you know, seen him in a long time. So. Every time I fight him, he surprises me. And look at him. Just already stamped out short. If you were mm -hmm. not a traitor. He's able to make some space with that kick. You saw that, right? We were talking about that earlier. The space the space that it makes is actually enough to keep uh, the, the one-hander away Ooh. from it. Great sword stab, not useless, even though people talk about it badly. It's still It still wow. works. Nice Excellent excel. Heavy axel there from Colin. Leaning into it, really turning into that, using his whole body to just project that force as fast as he can, and he does an excellent job of that. Colin even got that pre-order Zweihander skin. Oh, I, I have that, but I I, I prefer I prefer the uh, the normal one. I think it depends the on the wrap. fit you're using, right? I think it depends on what outfit you have on. The leather wrap can look really nice, but the uh, the gold trim on the uh, the nice golden uh, Zweihander can look really good. Especially very, he's using the Crusader, pretty. the Crusader uh, helm works very well with that. I think very pretty. Ooh, Colin's got a lot of weird, interesting, out-of-range feints to sort of try and, I guess, scare the other person into making a mistake. Ooh, oh, the Excel was Excel too hard. Yeah. A lot of players will do that. They're either over-drag or over-Axel, enough that they actually miss their opponent, and then that gives them, you know, that makes them quite vulnerable. Especially with a great sword where the recovery time is, is quite long. Colin's very patient. I see, like... Short did a drag to him, and he just stood there. He didn't even move. He let go of WASD and just yeah. waited. Just watched, just read. I mean, that's how you can tell. And that, that's a little bit of an intimidation factor. I, I see a couple of different fighters. I do this sometimes, too, where like, I get hit, or I'm waiting for something to happen, and I just won't move. You just sit there, and you just wait. You just read the attack, and that's what Ooh, he seems to be doing here. Attack cancel in the jab. Very smart. But he's already hurt quite a bit here, so he's going to have to really do something interesting to finish Out of off stamina here. again. Wow, he's really stamming out uh, uh, short here, though, and that's kind of the one of the big draws of the Great Sword is that it has the best stamina damage in the. 
I could make an argument for Messer having the best stamina damage in the game, but it's they're at least about even. I, mean, I, th nice I think game. it has a slightly higher base damage, which makes it just slightly higher stamina damage, but they're essentially almost the same. Almost. The Messer, uh, the the one thing that keeps me from saying that Greatsword has the best is Messer has a higher damage slash than the Greatsword does. Yeah, so it depends on what weapons, what, what strikes you're doing pretty consistently, but if you're going for overheads and specials a lot with the Greatsword, you're going to stamp somebody out very fast. I think chat's going to behead me for not watching QC. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Nice! Thanks! Wow, oh that God. was an excellent drag, but Short's able to read it. Not that one, though. Oh my God, did you see that feint he did right there? Oh my <laughs> God, what a decap. In a perfect wow. range. Ow. What an excellent Ooh. range punish there from that Axel. He just decaps would, him immediately. I would be terrified to go against the Colin right now, I'm gonna be He's honest. He's very stoic. He's very stoic. He's very, like... Uh, he's just, he's just very cautious about the way that he plays, and he's very smart about it. He doesn't make mistakes. It's hard. He he fights like a Terminator. You know what I mean? Like it's, I've it's heard hard people call him a robot. Him. Yeah, it's hard to sneak one past him. You know, I think the real thing is is that Colin was a bot made by Torn Banner to beat everybody into submission. <laughs> Google assisted <laughs> AI. <laughs> this is like uh that one robot they made to beat world chess players. Like, oh. This is the same level. My goodness. Like, his attack cancels into... These are evil! My lord! He's canceling all these attacks, and you don't see cancels oh. very much anymore, but and he he's using them the... very effectively. He, I Look think he was looking down... Again. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. The attack cancels are so tough to deal with if you don't know what you're doing. I mean, and, 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 and Short does know what he's doing, but it's still hard. What's what's bizarre here is Shadow Gale is, was, like... Shadow Gale's very good, and then okay. Short dominated Shadow Gale. And... <laughs> Talon is just, dominating short. It's just one of those things, man. It, 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 there's, there really is levels to this shit. Like, you can be a really good turn, uh, you know, uh, team objective player, and then you go to the duel yard and you get your ass beat because you haven't fought 1v1 for real. And then you play duels for a long time, and you think you're really good fighting all the lower levels, and you fight somebody who's been playing for a long time, like Shadow Gale or Short, and get your ass beat by them. Then you eventually start learning how to beat them, and people like call and come out of nowhere. You haven't even seen them play, and they just kick your ass. So there really is levels to this stuff, and these players are really, really excellent. So just extremely Colin's, skilled players. Colin's just his mouse movement. Like if you just watch the way he moves attacks around. Yeah. They're they're not something I see a lot of people do. Like even like if you watch me do these same exact feints, like I'd look totally different. Yeah, he has a very good way of manipulating his sword to make it look like it's another strike coming out. I mean, look at that drag. That was excellent. Short was able to quickly counter it, but couldn't have blamed him if he didn't. What the stab feint! You know what I haven't seen? A single special. No, that's right. And I, I don't think Colin is a big fan of the special. Mm. I don't see him using it very often. I'm a big fan but of the special. The Axel oh, is yeah, that's, more that's than capable be of it. doing it. <laughs> oh, very nice him. by Colin. And oh, just before man. chat cuts my head off, QC5 owed. We'll be able to watch him again. D relax. Yeah, I'm Maniacs. sure he'll be making it. If, if I had to bet, uh, I'm willing to bet that KC and... Colin are going to be our final. If I was a betting man. But uh, it looks so like we still have some fights here. I think Mighty Owl and Fat Walrus are playing. These are both good greatsword players. And Mighty Owl was kind of relying on his Messer. And I don't usually see him playing Messer. Interesting to see it. But he's gotten quite far. So props to him. We can go ahead and watch these guys while we wait for this block to finish up. Uh, let's see. What's Not the sure what the scoring? standings are here. I wow, an excellent Axel there from Mighty Owl. Good combo. I think so they should, they should be updating uh, it here in a second. I think uh, Fat's up by four. Walrus is wow. at two. Yeah, you know, I think he actually got like four owed and then he brought it back with these last two rounds. Just, which is incredible. Uh, you know, an incredible display of skill from Mighty Owl to be able to stay in the fight. I hope for the best for him. Absolutely. Both best to the best of these players. Oh, Battle Axe getting brought out. You never see the Battle Axe in these dual tournaments. I love it. Battle Axe weapon. is a sleeper. I people, oh, people do not respect the Battle Axe, and they should. They I I think it's the hardest weapon to use that's as good as it is. Yeah, it's so strong. I mean, the damage on that can be incredible. And the, the drag only thing, potential. 
It's got fast excels, fast combos, yeah. insane damage. The highest base damage of, like, almost any weapon. Yeah, it's very good. Very, and very it's an good. axe. Yeah, and it's an axe, so it's good against everybody. The only thing you have to, to struggle with is the range. Yeah, the range can be punishing if you're not smart, but look at the way that Fat Warhorse is face-hugging his enemy. He's getting right in front of him and landing a huge double faint overhead drag. Oh my god! <laughs> He actually spins, jumps in the air, does a 360 spin, and kills him with a special. Unbelievable I... finish from Walrus. Unbelievable. Unbelievable finish. I mean, that is I'm... incredible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need to step away. I mean, that was just unbelievable. Unbelievable fight. Fucking wow. holy shit. Dominant performance. I, what what performance. can I say? Yeah, there's not much I'm... you can say to that. Raw confidence. Wow. I mean, to well, pick out Battle Axe of all things on top of it. You know, like, yeah, I know yeah. it's very good, but nobody picks it. Nobody picks it, and nobody lands 360 mid-air specials like that in a tournament. In a tournament. Besides me. Real quick, uh, since I believe <laughs> that this is the end of the first group of matches, I'm just going to... Yeah, halftime is going right now. we got 10 minutes of halftime, so if any of you guys need in chat need to go pee, now is the time. We're a bit ahead of schedule. We are, back, we are. Back to the good. thing. I'd, I'd like to... You know, I've, I've got my own disagreements with Torn Banner, but I'd like to thank Torn Banner for being so kind as to help support these tournaments and stuff. We've got Connect. Uh, I, he might, he's like a community artist and manager now. He's like an employee. He used to be an alpha tester with me. I remember him. So I'm glad he's made his way up. We've got Nope Nope uh, and Yurik, both yep. two moderators. We just want to say we really, really appreciate all of the Torn Banner team for coming out and supporting these events. It means the world to us. You guys are really, really awesome. We really, really appreciate all the help that you guys have to make these events come to life uh, with what we've been given, you know? And I think we're making it really well. And these have been so entertaining so far. The fights have been so good so far. What do you think has been your favorite fight so far, Z? I... Hmm. If I had to say, if I had to go first, I think I would say KC and Light. Yeah, that, that was a good fight. I liked Cody and Mighty Owl. Yes, that was also Th good. Those, those fights were very close. Uh, Walrus and Mighty that, Owl as well. That thing he, Walrus just did was... I mean, that was incredible. That was definitely a highlight of the tournament for me. I mean, very so far, that's probably my favorite thing I've seen. Incredible, the way that he was able to jump 360 and then get a special off. I mean, that's just almost unheard of. Very nice matches. I'm going to load up the bracket really quick just to show everybody what we've got. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll do the same. Uh, they haven't updated Mighty Owl and Walrus yet. They're probably going to do that in just a moment. But uh, it looks like Mardik and Fat Walrus versus QC and Colin. Uh, I am going to watch QC and Colin. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. That's going to be an amazing fight in the semifinals there. And just to be everybody, for everybody to be aware, I mean, we are entering the semifinals. We have... Uh, two more fights, and we're only going to be watching the finals tonight. So the the, the semifinal fight between Marduk and whoever the winner of um, it'll be it'll be it'll be Walrus actually. Uh, we won't be spectating them, but we will see KC and Colin, and then we 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 will see the final fight in its entirety. Uh, the best of seven. It's going to be fantastic, and these are I mean we've got some crazy fighters right now. Marduk, Walrus, KC, and Colin, and these guys are all going to be moving on. They've already qualified for Out by Blood number two coming up soon. Every Everybody who was in the quarterfinal <clears throat> qualifies? I believe everybody, at least, I, I, as far as I know, at least the semifinalists will definitely qualify. I think the quarterfinalists will also qualify, but I cannot say that without confirming with one of the organizers. Yeah. QC is a fan favorite, by the way. Uh, I'm not oh, sure yeah. how much you've been paying attention to the clans and stuff, but QC was probably everybody's favorite uh, toilet paper member. Uh, TP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so popular that QC like left toilet paper and made his own group called Pax Romana, and take took a lot of good players with him, and now he's just it, it's just a nice group. That's great. That's good to hear. I mean, you know, you like you like to see the, that there is a variety of clans and competitive groups that want to play this game. You know, it's not it, people want to be competitive. There is a competitive demand for this game. People are getting good and they want to show off their skills you know and this is, this is these are the best ways to do it is by getting into these clans practicing with other like-minded duelists and members right you know even if you don't play duels you play to with these competitive members it's a great time all around so being able to see this competitive scene flourish the way that it has has been really awesome 
start. You know, from the now, very first community tournaments all the way to Trial by Blood now, you know? Now, let's hope that some of the console people that really want to participate will be able to soon. Yep, you know, uh, uh, as far as we understand, it's going to be coming, and it's on the roadmap. Uh, and I'll go ahead and put a command in that for chat. That'll be up to a moderator, Bungie, not out. me. Uh, after they update everything, Court Matter updates that regularly. Whenever they make patches, they will tell you what is coming up soon. So I believe the next patch after uh, Raid on Aberfell comes out is going to be console browser, uh, server browser support. I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be good to see. A lot of those players have been wanting to play for a long time, have wanted to get into these dual yards, and we're excited to hopefully have them soon. We set up the score for Talon and QC. I, now, I want QC to win, but I'm going to be honest here. QC is going to have to play at top level to beat Talon. Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think QC has the potential to, but, I mean, Talon's insane. He's a, he's a beast. He's literally a Terminator. That's exactly what he is. He just has the moves, and he knows when to use them, how to use them. He does not make mistakes. That's the problem. Is to What's, win a fight, you have to have somebody make a mistake. What's the main character from, like, Terminator? Uh, like Sarah Connor or, or, the, or, or Arnold? Uh, the, 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 the guy. I don't remember off the top of my head. I, I don't remember. Oh, God. Somebody in chat has to know. There's so many people. John Connor. <laughs> John Connor, right, right, right. Like, like, like his mom. QC is John Connor, and QC is like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> They're really going at it. All right, man. So look at these. Colin, we got the bracket here. We've seen everybody fall up into this fight, and now we've got Marduk, Fat Walrus, and KC and Colin. And we're gonna see of the winners of these two fights who it's gonna be. So if I had to make a call, if I was a betting, I would say that after the performance I saw from Fat Walrus, I think that if he does not. Well, here, here's the thing, actually. The other thing is that Marduk has not lost a single duel tonight. I'm looking at the bracket. He has not lost one single fight. I think we might be counting him out, that fight against Walrus. I think it might be so tough that he, he moves on to the final. I wouldn't be surprised. I've got a pretty... I'm going to... I would bet on Fat Walrus. Yeah. I, I'm... I, no, this is no offense to, to Marduk, but I think that Fat Walrus is just very very good and unless Marduk going, you know Marduk might surprise us he might surprise us the thing is is that like I'm mean, just going based Strong solely on the scores now. Colin is the only one that had or, or no Colin and Marduk are the only ones that have not suffered a defeat so far and that is telling of their performance tonight so we have to definitely be watching out for them but Walrus I mean an excellent fighter and he's done so well so far so uh, you, know, you obviously can't count any of these guys out I think we've got at least a very entertaining final final group here. Oh, absolutely. We're going to have some of the best fighters here today. And we have had some of the best fighters here tonight. Uh, a couple of them have already been eliminated. Most of them have been eliminated. We've only got so many left. But, man, such yeah, th wonderful fights The thing fights is, tonight. there's a lot of people that have been disqualified that could have made it to the quarterfinals or the semifinals but like maybe their maybe their bracket just left them against people who also can make it there. Yeah, I mean that's what we saw very early on with Mighty Owl and Gumbachi. Both excellent fighters, very well matched, but they they met up very early, the very first fight of the night. Tough so, bracket. You know, it's, it's a tough place to be. And you know what? When I did play, when I did play, I had the same scenario. The very first fight I think that I had after uh, tr was Trufaholic, another great player that we've seen and is qualified for Trial by Blood number two, and then also. After that, I had swag. I had, uh, I think it was either Quasi or Swag Mountains, like back to back. And that was just, you know, I, I died to Swag Mountains first or, or Quasi first. And then I had to fight Swag and Losers. So it was just the worst combination of players I could have ever went up against. Like the number, like, like easily top three fighters in the game, <laughs> you know? So it can happen to anybody. That's what happened to me in Trial by Blood. I had uh, just really. I, I, oh, I remember Shinbop. Uh swapped a longsword and I was just way 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 too jittery and nervous to hold my composure and I ended up losing four or five I mean Shinbop is an amazing player too so you know no skin uh, off your back for that one and then unfortunately I I Rarian was using the mall and he's the the best mall user but I I want to be honest here if somebody could beat me with a mall I I, I think I'd shake their fucking hand respect man honestly <laughs> 
so I, I guy, beat Rarian. I mean, that, that clip that he had on the very first trial by Blood was one of the best moments we've seen him doing so well against. I think he was playing against a sword with the mall. I mean, it was incredible Kai, what he Kai, but he loses in round one with great sword and says, "Fuck it, I'm using Fuck Maul," it. and you and beats three one-handed sword players with the mall. Like, yeah. who does that? <laughs> what kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, and then I remember I was fighting. Uh, oh god, uh, I, I could, uh, not. Why? Why can't I think of his name? Cedamork. I was fighting mm. Cedamork in the finals, and it was just too much for me to like. I, I get real jittery. I get real anxious. You know, <laughs> tournament nerves are real. Yeah, absolutely. I remember I like I got so desperate in that match because I was so nervous. I like tried to like wind up a sprint attack in the middle of the fight. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh well. All right. Look at everybody up there on the on the stands. Everybody just having a good time, relaxing in the spectators' booth, coming out with their best fashion. Oh, Lozio, fits. Lozio, actually an Italian rapier player. <laughs> he's not participating, but he's here. <laughs> Look at that. You have to respect it. The rapier was one of the weapons that was added that you know nobody really uses, but I really enjoyed playing in duels. I think it's a it's, very fun weapon that allows you to like terrible. dodge around. It's, it's not very good compared to the sword, terrible. obviously, right? It's I just a worse sword, right? But I it's just fun that, to use. I think the hatchet's better. I think yeah, I think it's the worst melee weapon in the game. You can do quite well with the rapier if you do if you know what you're doing, but you have to be so careful. All right, you I want to you to right, right now name a worse melee weapon. Go. Than, than the than the rapier, the cudgel. Yeah. I don't agree. Cudgel for sure. Cudgel doesn't even have hits. It, it doesn't even do anything. It's too. It's just quick, but it's just got hit stop, and it's not very good for that. You can stab at least through multiple people with the rapier, but. Yeah. All right. You know, I'll give it to you. Maybe the cudgel. <laughs> you got another one, or is that is that the end of the list? I think that's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything that much worse than that. The rapier is not a good weapon. I will not say that it's good, but it is fun to use. I really enjoy using hey, it in duels and being a, a quick little, yeah, a quick little like guy on the, uh, you know, a little a man at arms, like jumping back and dodging everywhere and like getting people from behind. It's very fun to stab around people's parry with that weapon. But you have to yeah, be the, very, very quick about it. The animations are really flashy too. Even just That's standing, true. like you put your hand on your hip. Yeah, on your hip. If you don't have the shield in your hand. <laughs> Apparently. That's a uh, that's a real thing that like yeah. you do to distribute your weight balance. It's like that hip thing isn't just for style. It's like a weight distribution thing. That's a real just, technique. Yeah, it's a real it's technique that the benches use. Weird and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> There's some rapier enthusiasts in chat that are not happy <laughs> with your slander. I, it's not my fault. The rapier is that bad. All right. <laughs> you should you should go you should go talk to the. Feedback. Go, go leave feedback. Get this thing buffed. <laughs> I think I think the biggest thing about it is the the special is like a dodge special, and it does 55 damage, and it uses like a quarter of your stamina bar. <laughs> it can be really good in scenarios where somebody is like going to miss an attack, and then you can come back after, because it's one of those where you dodge back, and then you rush forward, but... And it, it, it's, it's unique special, but it, 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 you know, you have to... It's a very situational special. Kind of like the speed ball. It doesn't dodge back or lunge forward enough. If it did a lot, yeah, I would like if it if it did more, I'd love it because I love to like do spacing stuff like that. Yeah, I love I love huge. spacing specials, but it just doesn't do enough. If it lunged I, I twice the distance, even if it had like, it either needs a better dodge or a better lunge. I think or or both. I'll take both. Whatever. Captain Agatha says it is getting buffed next patch. Apparently, that's it's quote -unquote. getting a. In, it's getting an increase and in change in the motion that it does on the special, mm. but nothing else is getting changed. So I don't see it getting that much better. But you know, baby steps. Baby steps, right? You got to make it work where it can. I mean, you oh know, wait, actually, he's going to be using the rapier and like team objective. That's more of a weapon to be using. In, like, I was, in, in I was wrong. We get to watch Mardek and Fat Wallace. Oh, do we? I was incorrect. Shame as well, on then. me. Wonderful. Let's see, here we are. These two are in the center of the field. Using up the whole space, and the fight begins. Smartek going for a rapier, and there it is. In insane man. With the shield. It's just, With a the shield just, just a spite me. Just a spite me. 
Now he's gonna kick ass and you're gonna be <laughs> eating your words. <laughs> as long as your timing is really weird. Ooh, that foot drag doing- He could have actually hit that, but he got dragged really hard, yeah. Look how quick it is though, man. It's so hard it's, to- It's very quick. If I was Walrus, I would- I kind of just parry and repost. If I was- Yeah. If I'm gonna be honest. Wow, I mean, I'm Ooh. telling you, man. The battle axe he is takes slow. One with the... You know what? I'll give it to him. He took one with the rapier. <laughs> T, you might take five. You gotta be I'll careful. eat my words. <laughs> I'll eat. I'm. I'm gonna eat my. Will you eat my your shoe? Socks. <laughs> I'll eat my shoe. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. Ziggy is gonna eat his shoe if Marduk wins with the rapier the whole set. Can I clean off the rock salt on my foot? It was <laughs> no, just you snowy can't. outside. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm sorry. It's not yeah, a lot of flavor. He has to be careful. You know, this is actually a really good matchup for Marduk because he's he's fighting against a weapon that doesn't have good Ooh. range, so he can use his range against him. The he shield is that gone. Shield. Well, he actually could have punished that. He missed. He has no stamina Ooh. now as well. Luckily, the rapier doesn't do any stamina. That's true. Oh, boy. Oh, Ooh, he's I, able to Axel. I think Walrus is insane to try and, like, steal initiative off the rapier. Yeah, that that is that is a absolute psychopath play. You have to play very carefully against the rapier. It's mostly blocking her posts, like you're saying. Man, look how far you can get away with it. You can get so many attacks in, and people don't even know because it's so quick. He's doing this way is a great player. This is Fat opinion. Walrus. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's not playing. He's not playing against uh, against the playstyle he needs to be playing against right now. He needs to pick a different weapon for one, and for two, he needs to be axeling almost everything because the second he does any drags, any heavy attacks, he's gonna get gambled. Cryptic says Every he should time. swap off the battle axe. I'm gonna be honest. I don't agree. I think he's just gotta. Focus his attention a bit better. I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the group with Cryptic, honestly. I, I, I agree with him. I think that the battle axe is too slow for what he's Oops. fighting right now. Marduk swapping swaps. off of Rapier, taking Let's his see. taking his Rapier win and leaving with it. He's probably gonna help <laughs> switch the spear. I think it was two wins he had, though, didn't he? Yeah, he had two wins the Rapier. Now see if he goes to something else. But I was I, I'm surprised that he, if he did, I think he's trying to get his shield back. I don't think he's gonna Oh yeah, there, I don't. Oh yeah, I don't think there's shields left. Yeah, he swap. Yeah. He, he's going for a third. Let's see what he does. It does have a psychological edge factor too. As somebody said the same thing in chat that it's got one of those things. It's, it's it's definitely a tough oven to beat because of the way that it is. Like it has that little bit of intimidation factor for just how fast it is. People don't use it. It's very odd to see. He's already got a shield low. If you didn't know, shields have, uh, the medium shield has 300 health. There's no bonus damage to shields, despite what the UI says. Uh, hmm. So as soon as the shield takes 300 damage, it'll break. There's 100 right there. I swore Very that nice that special. more damage to shields, but... I checked. <laughs> <laughs> so he's already low on stamina, the battle axes. If he just gets a couple... Oh, there it is. There's the shield. He's got no stamina help now. Now he has just to keep it simple. To stay in the game, but but the knight was already at low stamina at this part of the engagement. He's already still under uh, out of stamina. He could certainly still disarm him. Oh, look at that quick axel! I mean, it's so fast. All he's really got to do is land a single hit, and the rapier has to land like four. Ooh, wow! the special attempt! He you gotta give him credit. He both whiffed three times right there. He almost had it though. That was insane. There was three whiffs there, and you see how how Walrus is huffing and puffing still. There it is. He's gonna go for those alts, <laughs> overhead drags, and get punished for them every time. Oh, every don't time try he goes to steal overhead. initiative off the rapier. Yeah, it's just not gonna to... work for him. Oh. It's not gonna work for him. He's not adjusting his play style to the rapier, and he's gonna just take advantage of that every time. I'm every time. Gonna be honest here. I'm very impressed. I, I mean, like, look, it's not very good. And this, and he's duels. using it, and he's beating. I don't think it's good in duels. I think it's just, I, uh, he's playing good. He is playing good. I mean, it's, it's just, but it's very well suited to duels because of the quickness of it and the way that it allows you to space people very easily with, with the rapier. That's really the does, only thing. It doesn't have good it damage. Does, it has very bad damage. It does 30 damage on a slash. I know it's really bad. It doesn't even have, it doesn't even have cleave either uh, on the slash. <laughs> it doesn't but cleave. But that 30 damage adds up when you get hit three times when you try to gamble them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, all all Walrus has They're to do to is just. All he's, he's got to do is just though. He relax. wants to just keep over. He just keeps. He just wants to keep dragging. And he's gonna get gambled on every time. Or countered. 
He's already out of stamina. And now he has to counter, he might get disarmed, and then... Bad. He'll even just take out the axe in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, I would have swapped with a secondary or a weapon that would be more suited to fight in the rapier. He got Maybe past a glaive the shield. Or a club. Hey, hey, all right. He's got. He does get a hit off though. It's not. It's not over. He's still out of stamina, man. He's on the brink of stamina he every he fight. He keeps. He keeps fainting. Yeah, he I'm doing heavy. And he's just gonna wait. Mardik is just gonna wait. Again. He's and going and for the attack. Can... Every time that... Whoa! That one lands, though. Unbelievable. Oh, he landed that one, boys. <laughs> that was a nice special. Yeah. That was a good special. I think Mordek thought that he was going to be out of range or that he could uh, stab to interrupt it, and he just a little bit too close. I... Listen, I respect it. I, I respect the commitment to trying to land these drags. I think it's misplaced. He can literally press any button and interrupt your drag. Yeah, that's the case. He has to place carefully. Like you, you can't do drags against the rapier unless you're supremely confident. Unless you know you're not going to get gambled. And there's really never a, a way to guarantee yeah, see, that. He even did just like a faint again, there, and it, it wasn't enough. He's already out of stamina again. He's already out of stamina again. He's fainting again and doing heavies. He's, he's going to be out of stamina again. because the, the thing is, is he, he keeps putting himself in that position, though, is the problem. But Walrus, I should say. But he's getting the heavies off. At least one. Can he get two? Footman is actually the weakest class in the game for bonus damage. Right. So any, every hit Battle Axe does. Like, Battle Axe can two-shot him with just, like, light overheads. It doesn't take much. Yeah. He has to land them, though. And that's the, that's the specialty of the Rapier. Ooh. The stamina damage on that's very that's gonna good. That's going to be big. That's going to be big stamina just damage. Now it's gonna be more equal footing here. Just cool it. Oh, but he's, he counters oh, again. He's so low. Wow, the, oh. he almost landed the special. Oh, and there's oh, the overhead. God. Wow, beautiful overhead. I don't think I should have miscredited, or like, yeah, I don't think I should have discredited Mardek. I think Mardek is playing extremely well. He's playing very, very well today. So respect to Mardek for showing how well the Rapier can perform in duels. I mean, he's fighting a, a, a well-known player uh, and putting on a pretty dominant performance. Back to him for both of these fighters actually for sticking to their weapons of choice. You can see, Walrus has not swapped off the battle axe, you know. And while I wouldn't say that's a good matchup for him, commitment. I respect the commitment. I respect it. Bazusa. I mean, this is just one of those things. Matchups are so Rain important. Knight Bazusa. And if you if you willfully ignore them, it's going to put you at a major disadvantage. But. Does not mean that things can't happen. We had a Rayon kill three one headed sword players with them all. So, I mean, nothing is impossible. I'm going to have to get out my air fryer and put my shoe in there. Yeah, you're going to have to eat it in a second, buddy. I wonder if he's going to bring this to the finals as well. It's just... If he does win. This is still not over yet. I think... I think if Mardek does win this, he's going to the finals. Yes, he will be going to the finals. I mean, but just like, I don't know. Walrus is not out of the competition just yet. Man, he's doing so well using his spacing and just being able to dodge out of the way these attacks to be able to allow him to get some cheeky hits in like that. Just exactly like that. Is he at, Cutting him he's off. Just, he's just... Walrus is at away. one health. He's at kick health away, yeah. And he, the shield's not even gone. No. Marduk doesn't even have to land a counter. Wow! He's at one health and he kills him! Unbelievable! Unbelievable. Oh Walrus, my god. I'm begging you. Just Can for post overhead, dude. Can he bring it back? Will Walrus be able to bring it back? Unbelievable. Four or two in favor of Mardik. Wow. I'm begging you. That's all he <laughs> Alright, look, I'm I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a purist, alright? I, I think that just doing a lot of repost overheads and conditioning your opponent is a very good thing to do. Yes, absolutely. And, because it allows and you against, to set up other moves. And against these weapons that try to steal initiative, like Rapier, War Club, Glaive, oh. it's very, it's very simple. Oh my, he, he well, takes up. He swaps to his own Man at Arms Footman class. Here we go. There's going to be a little bit less of a uh, speed Agatha. advantage here for Marduk. He's going to have to adjust, but he's going to have to be less damaged now as well. So it could go either way. Bring it back, pal. He can get away with more drags with this. Throws out a special, whiffs it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Quick stab from Marduk there. That's half his Quick health. Quick attacks. It's already half his health, yeah. 
Another one. He 30 damage. Wow, he's doing so Ooh. good with those. Well, unbelievable. Ooh. That was an amazing series of reads from Marty. Did you see what he just did right there? He landed three attacks, and in between each of them, he fucking got a jab and countered with his own jab to stop him from being able to get jab. I mean, that was just incredible. Very nice. Okay, so I'm 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 pretty sure this is a first to five. I, I do. Yeah. Is it first to seven on the finals, or is this just I, first to five the whole way? I, I was under the. Uh, we I was talked about it earlier. It was best of five until the very, very end match, but it seems like I, that's the case so far. Yes, I, listen, I believe my, that my brain be is small. It's boiling in my skull. All right, I, I forget. <laughs> after watching that, <laughs> after watching Rapier just kick ass. <laughs> after where's that shoe, man? You get that shoe ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's the end of that match. Marduk's going to take it. He's going to move on to the finals with an excellent showing there from Fat Walrus, especially after that last match that he had. What a what a performance. We're going to see him again in, in uh, Trial by Blood number two, as we will all of these competitors here in the semifinals. Um, and now, now we go to KC and he's, Colin. Not sure if he's going to swap. He's got a one-handed spear. He has his fists out for me right now. Yeah. I mm. Okay. Well, yeah, but I know, but he's got the one-handed spear. Like I, don't I was know wondering if there was a bug going on. Yeah, he's using one-handed spear footman. Let's see how this goes. Round one. Wow, Colin able to punish very quickly with an overhead. Another Ooh. one. Casey okay, so has to play a little carefully here. One-handed spear pretty ignored. good against Vanguard, but he's got to make nice. it work. Little little Quick. pat on the tushy there from KC. Another great stab. Wow. Well done. I think that was a special. He, They're both quite QC low could now. Take it if, yeah, he, he could take this fight if he lands one more hit. But so could call see it. He's, he's, he's not friend, using he's his my range. Pal. Oh, and there I, is a quick I'm going to be honest calling. here. Uh, the greatsword is only shorter than the pole arms. It's longer than even Executioner Axe, things like that. I've never once tested the one-handed spear's range. I don't know how long it is. Yeah, I'm not sure comparatively how long it is. Yeah, I've got I'm no idea. As well. I'm very curious. So I don't know who would have the range advantage there, but now Messer's a little bit shorter than Greatsword, except for the stab. Ooh, the bait! Wow. Colin, wow, these attack cancels, cancels are insane, bro. Oh, wow, and what a, I mean, what a flourish. Wow. Colin is just, Dominated. he's Terminator right now. His eyes he are glowing. Is... He's got a laser sight on his like M1911. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tormentor injected some sight sight new code into Colin today and he is performing at an all time high. Absolutely just a robot. Just does not know how to miss. Oh, but a great overhead there from KC, putting him down to low, low health. QC tried to dodge the jab by crouching, but Colin just did not miss it. Oh, but he gets his own XL off. Oh, but he gets Ooh, punished. The... He's going to die. Wow, Ooh. KC takes a Q's... round off Colin. I believe that's the very first round that Colin has lost this entire tournament. Letter Q, letter C, managing to take it. <laughs> We've got a match. The robot does bleed, but he'll be back. I can't believe I mean it. <laughs> I'm the worst. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see it. Creating some counters here. Oh, but a great okay. Axel from Colin. He's landing a lot of those against KC, so he has to be careful about stab. those. Oh, oh, wow, another and, great Axel. Yeah, just the, the pressure on that. Colin is, at... a, is very good at, like, keeping pressure up like you're talking about, and he's very good at, like, getting quick, quick Axels off of the Greatsword. He makes it sting. Yeah, Qu KC uh, had, like, one health, I think, and he tried to back up to get away from the, like, potential kick and then just got punished before he could parry. Yeah.
Oh. Nice hit from from uh, KFC. Let's hope for the best. Oh, he's doing oh, a little bit too much overhead. spinning. Yeah, he's spinning around a little bit and gets hit in the back of the head by an overhead. They're both above 50% health. You see, yeah, now now KC is, has seen Colin go for attack cancels, and he's going for some of his own. Colin likes to remind people what attack cancels are, and then people realize, okay, I can do that too. Ooh, <laughs> quick, quick leg hit with the uh, slash. Colin making a lot of ground hits. Ground hits are a little bit nerfed. Ooh. Wow. wow, Gr wow, wow ground wow. hits are a little bit nerfed. You can't combo out of them right away, but if you were to miss, you can parry easier. right away. Yeah, it's much easier to just hit the ground uh, and reset your ability to block rather than let the attack go through, take longer, have to wait for the recovery period. Just hit the ground, be able to bring your block up a lot faster if you miss your attack. True mastery of the game mechanics here, using every advantage they can to take a round over their opponent. This is the highest level of play here we have in Chivalry 2. You see, Excellent not counters. falling for a ton of drags, truth be told. Falling for a lot of, like, fast excels more than anything yeah. like that. Every that time he's nice been hit, it's almost, it's almost always been an axel. Like that. Like that. Another axel. He gets... Oh, he's Ooh. actually able to, re to respond with a gamble. I'm not sure if that was a, a duck gamble or if it was just, like, a straight gamble. Oh, five health, this could be I it. Think, I think he was relying yeah. on, the, on, the, on the range there. But, yeah, Colin's going to take that win and eliminate KC from the rest of the tournament. An excellent showing there from KC. He's done quite well. Very, very dominant performance, but Colin is just on another level tonight. And now we're gonna see Mardek and Colin fight for the number one spot tonight in our Trial by Blood Qualifier 3. Who do we have in the chat here, guys? At the please, very please. least, at the very least, uh, every, like, QC definitely qualified for the big tournament. Absolutely. Everybody, and, I, and correct me if I'm wrong here, any of the, uh, the Trial by Blood staff, but I believe everybody who made it to, at the very least, the quarterfinals is eligible and will be in Trial by Blood number two. So please correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong on that, but I believe everybody up to the quarterfinals should have qualified. Uh, however, now it is going to be the final round. And again, guys in the chat, on both Ziggy's and mine, please, please put in the chat who you think is going to win. We've got Colin and Mardek. You guys I'm, are big, big I'm, duelers. I'm gonna be real here. If Mardek some like beats Colin with the rapier of all things, I'm going to like projectile vomit and have to leave. I think that this is a good matchup for him. I think that the rapier is good against the sword because of the speed of it. And it's yeah, absolutely. Unless Colin uses his range to his advantage, and I haven't been seeing him do a lot of range play, it's not gonna matter. The speed well, is gonna be more what matters. I, I don't feel. think Colin has to. Like that, we'll I, I think Colin knows how to use his range, but I just don't think he's really had to worry about it. Yeah, we'll see if he puts it to use now. An immediate into the Axel. So far, Colin not attempting any initiative steals against Mardek, no. which Playing is very not safely, what he's which is exactly to do. how he should be playing. Mardek's already quite low. A good. Stop of the kick there. He went for a low kick off the counter there. A jab there. to jab exchange. Greatsword doesn't really get initiative off of a jab. There's one thing you can sometimes land, but it's very in, in, imprecise. Doing a good job of initiative stealing here. Oh, wow. He almost <laughs> actually landed that. That was incredible. What an attempt there from Marduk. I would toss that shield if I was him. Is this going to go down? But he faints. Colin faints. I don't know why he fainted there. He would have killed Mardek there. And he's going to get gambled again. Of... I think I think this is going to go Mardek's way. If I have to call this, I think Mardek's going to win. Not this fight. <laughs> but I think I think it's very close. And I think that if he uses his abilities right away and, and, and uh, keeps his, his facing the right way, he has a very good chance. Now, he, he had he had Colin extremely low. Yeah, kind of kind of surprised. Telling you, man, don't shortchange the rapier, especially against the player. That I is will. Pretty, pretty damn good. <laughs> I, I refuse to give the rapier any credit besides its style. <laughs> I'm going to be mail ordering you a, a pair of shoes to eat tomorrow. Make sure it's real leather. 
<laughs> so he's already got two crazy attacks off. Oh, but he's oh, pressuring. Man. He is but pressuring Colin is, the shit out of Colin. Colin is not falling for the, any of the kicks, but he that's is 15, eating. Ja that's 15 chip damage, I guess, to Vanguard, who has very little health. <laughs> yeah, that's half a rapier a attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well keep One kicking, it's just as much damage. He Man, he keeps going for heavies and feints after disarming Marduk. I don't know why. He could have easily gotten an attack off that would have killed him there. But now he has to fight a little longer. I think Kallen does Again, better another in one. prolonged fights, but this is a rapier. Yeah, this is very close. I think Marduk gets one good stab off and he's gonna win this. Oh, Ooh, but a quick overhead axe that takes him out again. Man, I mean, He's had him low both fights now. This is again the guy's a first to seven. Colin did a very careful maneuver there. He was trying to do. He did a couple of like slight attack excels, and uh, waited for Marduk to make a move, and then went for a defensive option instead of trying to beat his offensive option. Which, I, yeah, good. Very smart. Very smart from Colin there. He's a good player. He knows how to use the range and the abilities of his of his weapon against the play style of another fighter, but. Wow, he's gonna get attacked quite quickly off the bat of this fight, and he's already at half health. You know, I don't think I could have ever predicted that the final of this would be Great Sword versus Rapier. <laughs> I'm, lo I'm I'm glad to see the, the Rapier love. I think I think. Fox it versus Griffith. Look at this. Oh my lord, Colin's already one or two good stabs away. He misses. Ooh, the throws out a desperate wow. kick. But he whips Ooh, and he gets another but... attack off. He throws that shield once and he kills Colin. But he doesn't throw it in time. Falls up yeah, with another heavy, just like you said. Every time. Yeah. Doesn't oh, fall he's for a kick. damage away soon. He's going to back off and get his stamina back. I believe Marduk is probably low after hitting a couple great sword response. Ooh, Man, an he keeps overhead? Going. He... Every time that, that, that he has Colin low, he goes for a gamble, and gamble just overhead axels him. Ooh, there it is! That's, oh, my oh, lord. that's such a shame. He tried to punish the kick, and, like, the rapier was just faster than the excel. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm telling you, man. That thing is not to be messed around with. If you don't play Even, extremely cautiously, you will not get a hit off. That's why the great sword is really good, but... Well, it's just I mean, it's surprising. So you can do. Colin picked the right option there, but the rapier just... Just manage to sneak it, you which I guess is something Rapier can do. Hmm. You think he maybe got a little bit footwork there? I didn't. I didn't catch the very, very end of it, but I think maybe he was able to like move a little bit, just enough to keep maybe, the sword away. Maybe from it him. was just enough to like. I I know Colin wouldn't have missed, but right, maybe right, just exactly. that slight delay. I think that's probably what it was. A great overhead axle there. Overhead. From Colin. Oh wow! And they're a trading. slash. Yeah, they're trading quick attacks here. Talon's starting to use his range a little bit more. Yeah, he needs to be using his range. If he just keeps in in, in, in close quarters here with the rapier, he's gonna get his 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 uh his parry dragged around with a stab. Very simple. He needs to be using his, his range and just teeing away. Wow, Ooh. like that. What a great attack cancel. That was excellent. Well played by Colin there. Nice. Nice, nice. That that move was slick. The way that like all those, I love watching small interactions like that. Yeah, it was Where very. It, you, it was a blink if you miss it moment. Responding to everything that happens immediately. Yep, and he knows exactly what to respond with and how. When. Look at those attack cancels. I mean, they're just beautiful. We're going to see a lot of reposts here from Colin, which is a smart move. He doesn't really need to worry about stamina damage too much here. Honestly, if he just plays close and just goes for reposts almost every attack, he's going to out stamina. Uh, Marduk, most, if not all, X. Colin hasn't fallen for a single kick. Yeah, he's been doing a really good job of keeping... Shield gone. Goes oh, for a big is. drag and gets early countered. I don't think he could have parried that. No. Marduk not falling for those feints very much. He's doing a good job of keeping his own defense up. These guys are both excellent defensive duelists. 
That's one thing that I've always noticed Marduk has been good at after watching him in quite a few tournaments and fighting against him is that he's very good at the basics. And that's a very important skill to have is being able to learn how to just use the basics for pots and blocks and counters. My chat is spamming robot emotes and saying robot things. <laughs> Downloading opponent playstyle. Possibility of victory 93%. <laughs> Target acquired. <laughs> they won't stop. Disarm. Marduk gets disarmed. He's got one health. Ooh, wow! Oh my god, kick. that was a great punish from Marduk. Unbelievable. He picks up his rapier again, Ooh. but he's gonna get disarmed one more time. Can he counter enough to keep himself alive before getting... Talon's gotta be very no, he doesn't. Yeah, very wow. close. Wow. Very close match there. That could have went either way. Marduk, uh, Colin did very well to watch for any sort of like sneaky hit. Mm -hmm. he, made, he did a like very quick feint to parry. What what is is very smart about that is is you know when you when you do disarm people and this happens to me a lot is that when you disarm somebody it can be a little bit like uh, distracting and you, and you want to push the attack and get very aggressive and then with weapons like that you can get you can get gambled very easily especially if you miss it. if he just gets just out of range and plays it the right way it can make it very Ooh, difficult I think, for him to. I think Marduk react. might be switching. He may be going to spear. Let's see. No, no, that's somebody else running out of the field here. Yeah, he's using spear. Wops to spear. This is a decent matchup. Marduk is just too human. <laughs> <laughs> and he got a I... he got a rape your kill off Colin, so you can't really say much else. It's true. He did get a rape your kill on Colin of all people. I would who have never not, predicted. Who has not even lost a? Who had not lost a single round to that point? Colin eats a quick. Uh, ooh, ooh, wow. go, sneaking around the parry. Oh wow! Another quick XL there, but it goes Collins that way that time. Colin is gonna have to be really careful to watch and make sure that nothing gets around this, his side. Oh my God! He's just gonna be able to keep teeing away from range there. Marduk doing a really good job of using the spear's range to his advantage, and then Bungie pushing up close. Punji, leader of Vandal, says that Marduk is very good and practices a lot getting around people's parry with the spear. Spear is his main yeah. weapon, I believe. That's what I was just mentioning earlier today. He's a very, very good duelist in trying to do that. And you can see him doing it earlier today, just constantly trying to get around people's parry with the spear, which is a very underutilized skill. A Ooh. great overhead there. Colin did the like a really good option, but that spear overhead is just able to excel and steal so it. Fast. What I really like seeing out of the spear is a uh, faint, uh, alt, you know, faint to alt faint uh, on the. Did you just try to throw the spear in there? He did, did you see that? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I think that was a huge mistake, but yeah, by all he means, he wasted a lot of stamina there and got hit as well. That's why he's gonna oh. lose this fight. He he hasn't lost it yet. Is he gonna try and he pick, didn't it pick it back up? The spear. Up? No, he didn't. I think he's trying to bait out an attack to get a gamble off. He wants to get a quick kill here. Next hit, that spear, buddy. It? But he's not gonna let him get it. Ooh, he got the a good, spear. A good job of uh, keeping him away from it, but not anymore. They're both so low. This could go either way. As long as so somebody needs to make a mistake. Wow! He cancels. He would have hit that. You I don't think. He, too. I, I wouldn't have felt confident in that attack either. Truth be told. Do you think the robot is feeling any tournament nerves right now? No, but he does take get taken down by the spear after his swap. This is a. Quite an upset. Very nice. It's very, very good performance from both these players here. They're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Powering could go down. Either way. Could Stop. Go either way. Stop. <laughs> Batteries <laughs> running out. <laughs> oh, they go either way easily. <laughs> Let's see. Attempts to go around the parry there. He keeps doing it. Not He's doing a purchase. lot of overheads, which is what I think you should do. Sneaks in a stab. He's doing a lot. Oh, but he's, he's does a normal there. Does a normal feint. The mistake last time was uh, he did a feint to overhead heavy, and Mardek's overhead counter hit him first. And this time mm -hmm. he just did a normal feint to overhead, and that one landed. The same way that it would have landed on wow. Mardex before. 
he's just he's adapting. He's downloading. He's a robot. It's true. Well, he's downloaded his bonus play saw already. That's a huge wow. What a what a what a way to get around the parry there. And then another Ooh. strike. Oh, watches the jab he, lands a quick. He, yeah, he had a, a good momentum there, and then he ended up uh, giving away a stab to Colin there. It's not over yet though. This would be normally over, but it is five in Colin's favor and two for Mardek. And uh, he ain't. Colin needs to win two more rounds to take the take the gold here. I think if Marduk doesn't make some uh, serious range plays and some serious uh, plays here in general, he is going to be in a bad position. Marduk is landing the hits required. He knows he's got it, but Colin is also adapting and learning a little bit more. Yeah, and, and he's, he's landing he's... some really good, really quick strikes. You can see the way he moves right in front of him. He just stays still. Oh, but he lands a kick and he... Oh, he almost whiffed it. He almost fucked it up. He's standing still. Wow, he's Colin's very low. <laughs> Colin had an early lead in this fight at the start, but now he is in very dangerous territory. Man, he wasn't able to punch the Ooh, kick. I mean, a jab. another I, jab off. I think Colin's in either he's jab in one or jab kick away. Ter he's in jab territory for sure. No, oh, there it yeah. is. Yeah. Got to be careful with that. You cannot play close. When you are that low, it is impossible to win a but fight you, like that. There's but you no can't way play far. Yeah, but you don't. I would rather take a spear stab than a jab to kill me. You know what I mean? If you're that low, I would. there is no winning by staying close to somebody and getting kicked or jabs. But if you do move away and keep your distance, you ha at least have the option to counter or post without getting killed. Colin's a veteran player. He should know that. You got to play a little further away when he's that low health. Did Colin... No. Wait. Colin switches? He switches to Messer. To this is uh, going to be a better matchup for him. He's essentially keeping the same kind of play style with a shit ton more health and uh, resistance against this kind of uh, this kind of weapon. He's got more health against the uh, the spear as well, which will which will keep him away from that situation you just mentioned because he can't play saying, far. Yeah. It's a spear, but if he can't right. play close, if he's got no health, very true. He doesn't want to be in a position where he has to get jabs or kicked to death. That's just not going to be a win for him. But he's low. Quite low. And he's getting... Ooh, wow. Wow. The kicks are I mean, landing. Whoa, and, but Colin ooh, responds. Slash. That was a sneaky, sneaky little stash there he got in. Mardak almost had that win. He would have got one more kick or jab, and that would have been it. Very close. Very, very close from both these fighters. I mean, this could go either way. Colin is up by more points, and this is match point for Colin. Match point of the whole tournament. Can he take another one? Every that's time fun. Colin stands still, he's downloading. That's him getting <laughs> uploaded. Yeah, that's him more. That's getting data. He's getting data sent to him in the middle of Scanning. the fight. Scanning. Scanning. <laughs> God bless. Whatever happens, both these people played amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. These guys are both fantastic fighters. I'd and like I to see Mardex still in the up. game. Yeah, I'd like to see it go a little longer, but you can't control that. Mardek doing a very good job. Oh, what a great stab around the parry there. He's throwing the weapon. What are, Why? 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 What are you doing? That must have been a misclick. That must have been a misclick. Oh, man. He actually literally threw. <laughs> I can't believe he threw. And he got another Lance kick up, but he doesn't land it because he's... He wasn't sure. Block. He wasn't. No, he, he wasn't, wasn't sure. sure. Land or not? Wow! Unbelievable plays here. There's so much going on in this fight. He's going for a lot of quick reposts, and he's oh. dead. And we have a winner of Draw by Blood Qualifier Three, and his name is Colin. He took the whole thing. The number one victor. Unbelievable nice. performance from him tonight. Unbelievable performance from Marduk going undefeated with the spear and rapier. I mean, unprecedented well, amounts of skill shown today. Almost undefeated. Walrus did take two. He did take two on Walrus, right. But before that, I mean, God damn. Co Colin went undefeated until he fought QC, who took one. Yeah, he took one off of him. I mean, that is an impressive feat to say the least. I mean, these players Very nice are on match. A another level of skill. And that just goes to show you why you guys need to be tuning into these events. Please keep posted on the Trial by Blood Tournament Grounds Discord. If you guys have that link, let me go ahead and throw that in my chat. But well, you guys you need say to check the command, because it's also my, in my chat. Exclamation mark, 
TBB Discord. And that is the link there to join the Discord to keep up to date with any of the events that's going on for Trial by Blood, for Tournament Grounds. We have lots of community events in different regions and all sorts of stuff. So please, please, if you want to join these events in the future to show off your own skills, that's the place to do it. And we're going to be having more of these events. That was the final qualifier for Trial by Blood. The next event is going to be Trial by Blood number two for a cash prize. And as of right now, and it will most likely get higher over time, as of right now, as of this speaking, it is at a five over $500 prize pool. So you are not going to want to miss out on that Ooh. cash. The stakes have never been higher. $500. Right, guys. Five you know what that means? Smackaroos. You can buy a lot with that. Be sure to follow me and you can buy a to see that match. Exactly, exactly. And if you guys want to see these matches, you need to be on the Discord, you need to be following us. We're gonna be having an amazing team of casters side event. And you're not gonna want to miss it. It's gonna be even higher stakes than this. Imagine the level of skill that was shown today for no money at all, just to qualify, is incredible. The only thing I can say is you need to be there for that next event, but I believe that wraps it up for us. Ziggy, dude, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for casting this movie today. It was a blast. You had a lot of fun. And uh, man, I can't wait to do this again, man. And what's important to know is just, I'm going to load up the uh, the tier list just to show it off. Uh, I, I, Everybody in the semifinal, uh, so that includes QC, Mardek, Walrus, are qualified for the big tournament for a cash prize. And I believe some people from the quarterfinal, maybe? I'm not 100%. These people also might qualify for that. I need a moderator to confirm that for me. I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna one. reach out to uh, Funk or Cody and see if I can get a confirmation on that. But uh, just know at least at the very least the semifinalists uh, top have eight qualifies. Been, top eight qualifies. There you go. So the top eight players, I believe that is quarterfinals at least, right? Uh, and the top eight of those players will qualify for Trial by Blood number two, the next event coming up. You're not gonna want to miss that, guys. Hey there. Uh, hey, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, hey. so who qualified? What? Uh, did you want to know who qualified? Was yeah, that... can, we get, can yeah. we get a list of who's qualified for the tournament now? Yeah, uh, I'll have to get it all compiled in front of me, but everyone who made it into the quarterfinals tonight is qualified. That's what I was well, thinking. I wanted to make sure before we said anything, but I can go ahead and read that list off here right now. Our quarterfinalists, all of these players are qualified and will be moving on to trial by blood number two we have v mardek we have captain agatha amazing to see that he got all the way to the quarterfinals here mighty owl fat walrus kc bubbles shorts and colin all eight of those contestants will be moving on to qualify uh to trial by blood number two it's going to be a fantastic event and uh congratulations to all those players you guys all put on an amazing show today thank you so much I'm and before upset. we get off the thanking train, I want to say one more thing. We already said it on halftime, but I have to say it again. Thank you so much to Torn Banner for you guys supporting these events. It means the world to us to be able to have that support from the developer for these community raised events. It just shows a lot that how much you guys care. And we really, really appreciate it. Also, thank you so much for the support from the staff at Trial by Blood. You guys have been running this as a tight ship, and it's been great. So... You know, just stay tuned, guys. Everybody here in the chat. More events like these are going to be coming up soon. And uh, shit, man, that's it. Ziggy, whenever you're ready, I think we should uh, raid somebody in the Chivalry 2 community, unless you're going to keep streaming. I I think that'd be nice. But uh, before I go, I would like to just throw something in, because this is something I dealt with when I was in Trial by Blood, because I'm sure some of the people who participated will probably watch this later. If you lost this, like, if you lost in Trial by Blood and maybe you didn't qualify, don't beat yourself up over it. Like, it, it can be, it used, I, I got really upset when I, when I lost, even though initially I didn't care at all. I, I felt, like, really down about it, and people should make sure to keep their chin up and practice on all that stuff. Absolutely. This is just an opportunity for you to grow. You're right. Yeah. The, 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 the way you get good at these kind of games in the genre is by getting your ass beat, and that's the simple truth of it. And the more you play, the better you get, the more fun you're going to have as you get better. So do not take this as, as, as discouragement. You have a chance to be able to participate in future events and just keep training up for that opportunity and you're going to be able to take it again. Don't get discouraged by that. Anybody who did not qualify today, it was a great, great showing from everybody. Just practice up for the next time and you're going to be a shoe in Would you like to race? Guys.